in this game the top of tiers are just resetting you faster than you can see anything going on and we yeah. have msp to open it up yeah. there is and the akuma both, though like you that. were talking about yeah iron man strider akuma ex problem is if he hits that top two he is going to go for that infinite city easy confirm on that one and the thing about iron man he doesn't really have to go for resets but his resets are really strong as well too They're yeah, kind of both the same his, air dash, his air dash isn't as, as limited as it was in marvel 3 correct it's way better yeah it's like you can see like him canceling buttons um it kind of kind of like stops the momentum look at this uh right away with an iron man infinite yeah, yeah. Oh, go for the reset. oh and we'll read that i wasn't ready for that either yeah he loves going for that reset go for the throw into the vajra assist oh <laughs> yeah that was a push block right there cancel into orbs the strategy of this team right here if strider hits you with the orbs He'll raw tag into Iron Man and the combos into an assist. And it combos into okay. the infinite afterwards. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, but nope. I mean, even not with sending, yeah, the bomb's gonna cover him in the back. This is clean. Oh, dead. <laughs> the assist infinite in the back. I didn't see that Psylocke had been hit until just then. Yeah, That's he a... called out Psylocke at the last second, but the bomb from Strider killed Magneto. It does like a chunk of damage. It's like that. Yeah, it, it, it's uh, an insane amount. So, yeah, so the, this team, I mean, we, we saw it operating exactly like you had said, right? It, the, the Akuma assist gives them these pickups. It, it, it's very, it seems like it's very much to me like the point of the team is everything funnels towards getting the infinite and killing you. Yeah. I mean, just, just like what MSP does, it's the first hit, you don't get a chance to play. Prominence team, you know, it's obviously not a top tier team, but it has like that trick where if it's you, you are going to die from it. Ooh, just like oh that. God. Look at that. He goes into the infinite right away. I'm standing heavy That's kick. The, the first attack glitch. Yeah, I was going to say, so my recollection on that, and you'll know way better than I, doesn't Magneto have the best version of that? He does. But so, there's some characters okay. that have like smaller hitboxes mm. or her smaller hitboxes where his crouching light kick will not reach him. So when ah. Iron Man does his standing heavy kick, it's kind of like he leans back a little bit and it's and it's like a two frames. So it just okay. misses. So it, it's just a weird interaction because I was I'm looking at that and I'm like, that seems like such a gutsy choice. Nice pickups. No, frame day doesn't make sense in old games. Mm. He has a two-frame heavy. Who, 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 who thought that was okay? Oh, look wild to think a two-frame heavy doesn't make you... God damn, that cross-up was mad late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, GG's. Look at this. Mm. Oh, Easy, simple confirm. Despair. Yeah, how much meter? He's going to cancel the orbs, maybe freestyle a little bit. Ooh, Akuma? <laughs> oh, nah. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Yo, that's overkill. <laughs> that was overkill. Right. Prominence. <laughs> Yo, we're doing we're doing swag combos for stream. I'm here for it. So this uh, now we have uh, Storm Sent Commando versus Mag Storm Sentinel, and this leads to a question I wanted to ask you. I, obviously, the prominence of these really strong uh, get off me invincible assists like Captain Commando, like Cyclops. Um, how does one, like, what is it that makes one decide to pick one over another one? It depends on the character. It depends also your play style. Like, Commando is more of like a get off a minute. While Cyclops is more combo, combo heavy, uh, more block stun. But the thing about Cyclops, like, his damage isn't as high compared to Commando's, like, pal. Mm. Like, look at the damage on that. That's 50% off of attack much jumping jab. So on a get off me style team where it's like I'm trying to minimize opportunities and then if you yep. get smoked by this assist it's leading to bricks. Exactly. So and it's also like if because these characters are so air based and they're coming from the sky, they're air dashing everywhere. If Cyclops hits you in that situation, it's only one hit. So it's hard to capitalize off of that one hit. So if Commando hits you with that one hit, you know you can't get anything from it, but the damage output it's just so much higher than just like a one random hit from a gene splice. Mm. So that's what makes Commando Sys like kind of like better and neutral. But in terms of just like putting people in mix-ups and constant pressure, Cyclops is the definitely the, the better assist. 
All right, so that makes sense then that you see uh, Commando paired with Storm more frequently. Yeah, I mean, people people don't really play Team Matrix, which is Storm, Sentinel, Cyclops as much. It's like maybe a handful of people, but I would say the average Marvel 2 player will have a higher chance of picking like a Storm Send Cap any any day. I've been playing this team a lot too on rank. Anytime I fight against a Magneto player, I'm picking this team. Is just it like just get the, them off of me. Just, yeah, I was gonna say having that strong get off me tool and the ability to just not have to deal with Magneto's crazy offense. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of damage. It, the, the pow is so crazy. Um, so I, I would say Commando is probably like in contention of like top two best assists in the game. Because it's either Commando or, or Cyblade. What we're we gonna see. We are. Yeah, Baby Missile obviously took that first one while we were talking about it, and it was a great demonstration of exactly what you were talking about. Magnus Aran making a character switch, yeah. bringing in the Cyclops. Yeah, this is tough because um, you have to be really good this matchup to win, because Cyclops is gonna be the one that's gonna be call calling the assist first. So if Commando counter calls second, the Commando will win second. Yeah, I, I feel like it, at that point, it's, it's beholden to Magnus to try to make sure that they're, you know, tricky about their call. They can't really autopilot it, or they're just going to gradually kill their own assist in the back. Yeah, look at that. You see Commando? This is also a good thing about Commando. You're playing this Sentinel Flying War, like these two Gundams. Commando can reach from the top of the screen. Cyclops cannot reach from the top of the screen. Oh, we do have a pickup from Cyclops there, and we get a nice touch. Captain Commando down about 40% in the back. Yeah, but Storm doesn't have any more Hailstorm. But if you look at the meter, Baby Missile has four bars. We're going into five. That's kind of like the big difference right here. I say yeah, bring Storm that, in. Yep. There was that counter call cap you were just talking about. Now this is a huge thing. Oh my god, using cap to set up the mix-ups. Mm -hmm. And now now Baby Missile is probably going to find, find a chance to do Hailstorm. And he's going to probably keep running it back. Because Storm is about yeah, to back. I mean, even just damage. to chip it out, right? Yep. Force Magnus A ran to make a decision. Oh, okay. He does get a pick up. He's gonna be. Oh, Storm missed the super oh. jump now. Yeah, Storm could have definitely punished that Hyper Sentinel Force. Nice score. Pick up in the air. Oh, drops the combo oh, though. Okay. Yep. What's Cyclops gonna do? It's really hard for Cyclops to make a comeback. Because especially he only has one in that one bar leading in the two. Like it's landing like, I mean, clean on the stuff. upside, if he if he finds a good spot to commit, I mean, like Captain Commando's still bleeding in the back, but yeah, clip that was, that was a donation of a bar. Lightning Storm ought to be enough to do it. Baby yeah. Missile's gonna close that one out 2 0. Yeah, easy, easy 2 0 right there. I've been watching a lot of Beats' YouTube videos to see, like, how do I get a conversion with Dawson, and the execution is tough of Dawson. Really tough. All right, what are we gonna see here? It's the trade on the hits right there. Go to the War Machine. War Machine, you know, people are saying War Machine like similar to Iron Man, but they're very, they're pretty different. Like, yeah, I was, I imagine if they were similar, right, then, you know, there would be no reason to pick the worst of the two of them. There has to be some sort of distinction. Cyclops is just blowing up. Oh, we do have a pick up. Tank from Roy uh uh uh. If I'm thinking of the same Royce, bro, doesn't he play poverty fighting games, I believe? I think he plays po the poverty fighting games. But this is the first oh. I'm thinking of. Guard break, we don't quite get the pickup in the subsequent combo. Instant overheads from Beats of Devil's Sentinel. Blowing up Jin in the back, we don't get to finish out the combo on him. Yeah, the, 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 the problem with Royce Roll's team besides this game is that Jin is the, is like get off of me assist, right? A Cyclops will just blow up both of them. A Super Samurai, he is the, the zapper of assist. If you leave that assist in front of his face, he is going to electrocute you. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. Mm. Look at the damage on that. Oh, 81 hits. Yeah, mm. the, but that Cyclops counter call, every single time Jin is coming out, Cyclops is just there to punish him for it. Jin has so little life in the back. That was so cheap. That was unblockable setup. Older fighting games, there's like this thing where 
you can't block both directions at the same time. There's no like, like I would say, what's that? Ant cro crosser protection? That, that didn't exist back in the day. So that's why that like crouching heavy punch from Sano will be unblockable sometimes against characters. Because like the active hitbox is engaging left and right at the same time, right? Yeah. That's the theory behind it. It's wild. I mean, it's one of the really fascinating things about watching these older games. And I mean, when we don't have a match to commentate, I'd love to pick your brain about it. Uh, but Roy Scrawl on the back foot. Yeah, Damn, he didn't even get, he didn't get the activate. Yeah, Jin, the only character probably, that probably has X Factor. <laughs> I feel like we didn't end up, uh, most of that game, I feel like was uh, beats his Sentinel rather than his Sim. No, his Dalsum got washed because he got raw tag into the War Machine Infinite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he got he got washed a little bit. Yo, shout out to Rotary Lover for the five dollar direct contribution. We got thirty seven clothes guys left. Hit the codes. Free thirty thirty seven of you just hit the, the codes. It's all free. Free money. Oh, that's like less than five percent of y'all. Yeah. Okay. Opening up uh, beats gets the first hit this time. Yeah, but drops it's the combo. As someone, as someone that like didn't get to see a lot of not end of life Marvel two, watching Sim zoom around the screen like this is so surreal. God damn! No, he's sick. He's literally hidden potential character. Uh oh, but he gets the tag up by accident. Look at Jin's health. It's seventy percent gone. I got it for it. Like, are we sure it was an accident? Because it, nah, it was accident. made Jin bleed in the back. Yeah, yeah, nah. No, no, usually in Marvel 2, if, if you get a, if you alpha counter your assist character, that's usually by accident. Because Dawson had like 80% health, so there's no reason for him to, to, to get him out of there. Fair enough. Catch out the Jin. Okay, I mean, at least that one trades there, but Jin is still really bleeding in the back. Yeah, but they're kind of even though. Look at Cyclops' health. He can't even recover that health anymore. At least Jin, if, if Roy Scroll doesn't call Jin. Oh, nice combo. Ooh, oh. almost. Yeah. And clips low on the reset. Jin dying in the back. He almost dodged that with the teleport. That would have been so sick. Yeah, Dawson's teleport so broken. Okay. Do we got the flying speed deterioration? Yes, he does. He gets it. There's like I a specific trick to get that combo. Sick. Yeah. But the raw tag into the infinite again! No, he's not gonna be able to get the guard break here. Mm. A little bit too far. It, yeah, he messed up the guard break on incoming in game one as well, and that's where the momentum went away. Yep. Uh oh. Goes for the roundhouse. Doesn't work out. Yep. Sentinel versus, versus War Machine or Iron Man. Matchup is bad. At this point, you're just getting smoked, right? Jin assist comes out, but it can't really do anything. Beats still has Cyclops assist in the back. I yeah, mean, but Beats is like aggressive, Beats though. Ooh. He's being way yeah. too aggressive. He has some hey. life to spare, and now, I mean, Roy Scroll just on the Jin pulls out that install, though. Yep. They don't want to swing. Jin, Jin's all about baiting people. I mean, we saw a little bit of little bit of cool Dawson action, though. So they're kind of different in in many regards. So I guess there's less hand holding for older games. It, hand holding is an interesting way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Yo, shout out to stupendous one for the ten dollars donation. We're at one forty. One forty. One hundred forty dollars and fifty cents. Oh my god! Bad match. Yeah, the crazy part about Kodiak, he, he's such an interesting player. When I was playing him, his order, his choice of order is crazy. Because he's picking table on point. And that, that makes this uh, harder for him to beat Sentinel. Because he only has one bullet in the oven. Clipped by Mando assist. If yeah, but that's unblockable right coming. there. Oh, yeah. unblockable. Yeah. You, 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 when you see Seno do crouching heavy punch, that's an unblockable. Oh. But if Seno does, like, um, jumping heavy punch into fly, that's him attempting the guard break. But usually you don't go for the 
the guard breaks with Sen though, unless you're fighting against like Storm, because you can't unblockable Storm because she can float. Sure. Let's get the wall oh, tag. Yeah. He was trying to get the 50-50 there. Odiac has a really good Cyclops, but you know, Cake. Cable actually kind of smokes Cyclops though. This is a bad matchup. Fodder versus Sun. Son of Sun is better than the dad. I mean, he knows the tech, right? He's from the future. Yeah, he's seen it. He's watched the tapes. Yep. Look at this. And, he knows and how season Cable two of X Men '97 ends. I, oh, I want to watch that. Mm. I cannot wait. X Men '97 was far better than it had any right to be. Yeah, it was too good. And also, the one thing about uh, Cable. That makes this match even harder. You can't tick throw him. He he takes he has longer block stun compared to other characters. So if you did like crouching short walk up grab, it won't work compared to the 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 timing. It won't work compared to other characters. I don't know why, but that's that's just that's that's a thing. That's bizarre. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Some of, some of the stuff in these older games that you that you find is in there, it's like, is this a glitch? Was this just like a weird one-off? You know, did somebody just throw a line of code in and they're like, let's see what's going to happen? Yeah. You never really know. QA was not a thing back in the day. <laughs> you feel me? It was, it's, it's I feel different. Like that's another, I feel like that's another element of what makes the modern fighters feel a little bit different is they spend more time, one, in QA, but two, I, I feel like there's more attention given to, like, actively uh, balancing and designing characters with a toolkit in mind uh, before they come out. Okay, we drop the infinite there. Oh, but he gets the, oh, I thought he was gonna go for the double snap. But we go for the reset. I bring up Tempest. Not gonna be able to mash out that one. This is the guard break right there from Magneto. Animated Nick, he has a chance. Oh man, every it, it feels like every time Animated Nick is calling out Captain Commando uh, assist in the back though, Kodiak is doing something to try to clip it. Gets his own air hyper air hyper viper. Yep. But you only have one bar. That and you see him whipping those buttons in there. That's how Cable builds bar. Just down for it, heavy punch. <laughs> nice. Oh man. Is he enough? It is enough. Oh, wow. I, I thought he was going to live with the, just a smidge left. Yep, and that was a, a cable guard break. And if you see Commando just stay still yeah. like that, they give up. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I was like, that. I, I know what that looks like. <laughs> yeah, because I think in a lot of these situations, it's Commando has like one of the best assists in the game, like top two. But as a character, though, it's... He's kind of bad, especially against in the meta. If he's fighting against like mid tiers, low tiers, he's pretty good. He's pretty decent. But if he's fighting against like like Cable, Sentinels, he has no shot. Yeah, just just doesn't. Ha I mean, and I also have to imagine that by the time if, if you're playing Commando, you probably don't have anything behind him, right? Because if you're playing him solely for the assist, it's not like you're gonna have him on point at any point. Yeah, exactly. If you can, if you can manage it at the very least. Yeah, I think the, what makes him really bad as a character is that he can't combo into his super consistently. Like, sometimes it hits, like, sometimes it, it, it misses. That feels like the kind of thing in a Marvel game where, like, the first thing that you need to be able to do is cash out a bar for your super. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of times when you're a cis character, you kind of mash DP into your super. But and the thing is, it doesn't work. Like... The DP will come out, corridor, it'll hit, but then when you cancel the Captain's Sword, it might not complete. Oh, he has more to cash out, as long as he's able to keep Captain Commando in this. Oh. Yeah. Anime Nick was able to, to save his, his Commando right there. Kodiak definitely could have killed. Mm, nice super jump right there. Look at the most damage on the Hyper Viper Beam right there. Oh, okay. no confirm from not coming down heavy kick, but yeah, look, both characters. Oh, he's, he's gonna be able to kill both. cash out for this. Yeah, uh, you think it's gonna kill Cyclops? I think Cyclops no. is alive. He's, a, he's oh, definitely alive. He no, he cannot. 
but it's it's a, it's worth it at that point. Oh, absolutely. Don't confirm on that one. That was an open shot. Oh my God! Yeah, that, that's gonna be chip damage right here. Bring in Sentinel, maybe? No, he has guard break available. Oh, it clips before the rest of the optic blast can come out. Anime yeah. Nick. Yep. The thing about the optic blast super, even if it did fully come out, um, it wouldn't have done anything because the hyper viper beam is already there, and there's no invincible. There, there, there's no invincibility in most supers in this game. I fight Wenzo like almost every day. Yeah, he's, you said he's number two on the leaderboard right now, yeah? Yeah, number two on the leaderboard, I believe. Unless I took over, I'm not sure. I was grinding today. I went from, I think, 43 to 46. We have uh, Iron Man sent Cable over here with uh, Marcus Rashad. Yeah, I played I played Marcus Rashad, too. I ran to him in rank. He's really solid as well, too. I just, I don't know about this matchup, though. The problem with this matchup is that Iron Man can't really catch storm and then the hail storm you look at sentinel sentinel cable you can just run away all day run hail storm and have right, all I mean, this random damage if your goal is to find an opening and be able to like cash out an infinite for a kill right it, she's a super strong keep away character she has captain commando assist that you need to respect in the back your cable's bleeding because you're using your assist to try to make something happen yep a storm is like cool cool story bro I just hailstorm all day. The weather report. It's a groundhog day in here. It's like, yep, it's gonna snow again. There's a blizzard on the on the 38. Yeah. But Wenzo does have a weakness though. He's very aggressive. He doesn't know when to stop. So it is interesting. You can take advantage that, of that. Oh, that's yeah, gonna be a he's, punishment. He's thing. approaching this very differently than we saw the previous uh, storm commando yeah. matchup. There's a much more willingness to go in, but I, I almost wonder, like, is that a personal choice or is that like a matchup choice? I think it's a, I think that's just how he is. He come, he comes from the Seattle FGC. So Seattle FGC for Marvel 2, they're very aggressive. He's just trying to get us to experience the same weather they have every day. Yeah, it was rain, hails all day. Just constantly. Always overcast. Oh, always overcast. But he, yeah, he's definitely such an aggressive player, though. Yeah, I, I wonder, like, what do you do as Rashad here to try to make something happen? I mean, like, is Marvel the kind of game where you find that people have, you know, different characters to swap to to change up these matchups a lot? Oh yeah, that definitely is a thing. Like, but I don't think Marcus. This just might be his only team. Okay. But you, but you can switch order. Like, I would start Sentinel first, and not, not Iron Man. Your move. It looks like that's not going to be the play here. I just, it, it seems like you're putting an awful lot on this opening gambit working out for you. Clipped high after the uh, Captain Commando assist, and now she's just at the top of the screen. What do you do? Yeah, and the one thing that Marcus doesn't know is that if they both do first attack glitch, Iron Man wins the first attack glitch. So he didn't swing at all. Yeah, there's he, a lot he, of respect there. Yeah, he, usually you don't re really care for that respect because you have advantage with the first attack. Yeah, this is what it's about to run over. It looks like it's going to run over. Unless Marcus... Oh, but mm. Sentinel's going to snitch on you right here. Mm. He might be dead. God, that's unblockable? So yep. much damage. And he lands the unblockable there. Yeah, at this point, Rashad's just going to get smoked, right? Is you have Commando Assist that's going to, like we've already seen, it just it gives you so much mileage in the cent for cent matchup. Just having that true top of the screen coverage. It's Wenzel an extra layer. That one two zero. Yeah, that that was a really really tough two zero right there. So they just you reusing those assets, right? But Cable, they had to they had to think like, oh, how do we make them work? And I and I felt like they did such a great job with that. This is about to be a banger of a match, isn't it? X EX Prominence versus Smooth Viper. We have the Iron Man Strider Doom this time, not rocking the Akuma against the Storm Sent Commando. Yeah. The one thing about Smooth Viper, he's really good at running. He's very good at running. Oh my god, Doom is bleeding in the back. Smooth Viper has barely had to worry about a thing. And you can see EX Prominence really trying to earn some space on the screen but geez the second he goes up and tries to throw those bombs it's like 
Smooth Viper recognizes that Iron Man is going to be locked in that animation with the bombs, and then he can just wave dash across on the ground and just completely nullify it and get himself out of the corner. Yeah, but look at this. this even though he got Strider in, oh, but this helps actually. Gets the raw tag. Prominence can get something started here. Doom Rocks beats Corridor. Somehow, Doom, yeah. So, this, so Prominence has a good chance here. But now he only has one bar. And Strider has Akuma, Akuma type of help. So he's like a glass cannon. Okay. Okay. Air throw start. Yeah, here we go. Okay. One, two. And he has one more orbs right here. He has to take this. Nice super jump cancel, but gets caught already. Double jumps out, okay. goes for the launch. Almost a cross up, no rollout. He has to do a counter. And he does, brings in Commando. A meat shield That's right here. Oh Sentinel my god. Has so little of Jesus. Yeah, he lands the wake up wake up DP. Goes for a poster blast. Look at Sentinel, you can't call keep calling out Sentinel. Right, I mean, EX prominent at this point, every every uh, proton blast is, you know, might as well immediately cancel into something to kill Sent. Okay. EX yeah. Prominence uh, in a decent spot now, finds the pickup on Sent, but doesn't have the combo off the air jab. Doesn't right, even need it. That's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna, Storm's gonna run away right here. Yeah, just and run away, I... keep it safe here. It looks like she has more health than Doom Iron Man, so even if she loses out against the Sentinel, I feel like 25 seconds, you can lame this out. Well, if yeah, you get could. smoked on a hard tag that whips. Yeah, that was EX Promise's is the only shot. He wanted to land the raw tag to try to, like, win the game, right? Raw tag can go into the Iron Man Infinite. Hmm. Hmm, Smooth Viper, take game number one. Because Doom can't catch catch storm in the air he, he can't even fly up there he's so fat for some reason he's just a heavy character i mean that that armor is heavy yeah it does but i mean but you see marvel 3 doom he's moving that's fair he's moving kind of fast <laughs> he supplemented it with ma but maybe when this one came out he hadn't learned magic in the comics yet they supplemented it for marvel 3 oh damn but he's ordinary He's ordinary here. He's RDJ in Marvel 3. Okay, okay. Your move. All right, here All right, we go. No, Your move. No big changes uh, in the characters. Yeah, you see. With. Yeah, Palmas went for the, the standing heavy kick right away because Storm has to respect that. But look at it. Already a 60% health down. Hey, he's barely going to do anything. He, he threw one bomb. Yeah, one bomb. Gets hit by Corridor. It's just pow damage. Hailstorm. Oh, but Strider gets opened up. But, but Smooth right. Viper miss, messes up, though. Uh, but chilling at the top of the screen, that completely nullifies that orb. So yep, one does. bar. Not getting anything out of it. We're in the trap this time. Okay, we get out. Yeah, the one thing about it, you have push block, right? And because eventually push block will go back into neutral, you have like a guard cancel. So you could guard cancel and push block to, to super jump. Which makes Strider Doom Trap much harder to land. Because you have to be like so precise. Alright. Uh, okay, that's just to, to get the swap out. Yeah, it, it feels but... like it's going to be a really similar sort of Hail Mary approach here. Like, can Doom make this solo or do you just kind of need no. to find an opportunity to land the infinite and then guard break and just kill people. There you go. You got you guys the answer. The problem with Dr. Doom as well, he has no bar. So his, True. his, his most damaging combo goes into the Photon Ray Super. Okay, he has the, all these little hits. It doesn't do anything. And all those little hits that he's landing to helps Sentinel because it gives him unfly. Where after you you're flying, you you get another air action after you cancel your fly. Yeah, Smooth Viper closes that one. I'm glad you brought up unfly because I didn't realize how little I understood about that. I, well, so how you explained it makes sense to me because it sounds like be, the flip tech means you're not in a normal jump state. So if yeah, you you're go in the normal jump state, jump state that resets it. Yeah. So so you okay. so you lose it if you if you normal jump. You also lose it after a certain amount of reps. I think it's like 15, 16 reps. It's just gone. It just runs out. It's huh. like it's like think of it as like gas or oil. It, the car just runs out of uh, runs out of fuel. So you just run okay. out of, run out of unfly. 
but you can also gain it back. You can keep gaining it back by getting hit by random air hits, air attacks, and everything like that. I'm see, I'm a I'm a software engineer in my day job. You said the magic numbers for me to just I would love to get eyes on the code of this, but we got Wenzel versus animated Nick on our next one. Sent Cable Commando versus Sent Commando Storm. Yeah, that's the team Santhrax. Um, usually when he DHC from he DHC from Storm into Sentinel. Um, that's that's what caused the order to switch, and that's why Commando second. Look, look at animated Nick's commando. It, he is bleeding. And that's why he's calling Cable as the anti assist Because he doesn't want to call, keep calling commando. Really eating a, a little bit of chip there is Wenzel, but will he get back out? Okay, uh, that was that. He just ate that hit there. Now I'm watching for it. <laughs> yeah, now you're looking for it, right? But the but thing is, <laughs> when you're playing Sentinel mirror matches, you're going to get it regardless. Because you're going to get hit. Like he didn't get it there because that you saw it because that caused a knockdown. I see. Oh my god. Nice, that was sick. So oh, many super commando. He, he calls him out. No hyper viper though. Okay, run away. Wenzo's gonna keep it solid, right? Anime Nick's doing it. I mean, he's doing a good job building bar as well too. I was about to ask him, like, all right, so he can build some bar and then make it so that he can, you know, cash out and, and get a fair bit of damage. Bring the Sentinel in now. Yeah, I was actually surprised. That was a, I don't know about the decision. I didn't agree with that. Because at least... Sentinel inverse. Yeah, because the thing is, you see now Wenzel's just doing Hailstorms. You can't really do that against Cable. Because Cable could react with Hyper Viper Beam from, from full screen away. Uh, and, and I feel like you're not going to get a lot of mileage out of the assist necessarily. I feel like it's getting clipped by central drones in the back. Exactly. Wenzel has you see that? Gotten the life lead out of this. Damn. Terrible. You should because at least with cable, you force Wenzel to hit the skies. Right. So it was a slower pace. You can set your plan to go like, okay, how can I land the hit? Or you can just keep doing chip damage because you know Storm's going to go up in, in the air, so you could jump with her. And just do regular Viper Beam. Right. Right, just to do chip it, damage, wear her down. You have so much time left. You don't you didn't need to bring in Sentinel. Yeah, it, it seems I I don't rightly know. I mean obviously I'm not you know, I'm not deep with the game, so for me to say I don't rightly know anything is a vast understatement. Um, but even just at a glance, it didn't say oh we do have a swap. Oh yeah, we got the mirror, mirror match. match. Who will Time for the mirror match. Cable's one of those characters that, like, he's really good, but it's hard, it's hard to make him work these days. Because his his his, 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 de his defense is not that good. Okay, I was gonna ask. To, uh, I'd love to elaborate after. Oh, we do have the pickup. That's a dead storm. Yeah. Uh, Wenzel's side actually animated Nick. Yeah, he's cooking. He's cooking with that storm. Uh oh. That was a good roll okay. tag too. It dropped the combo. The combos doesn't work there. Nice side switch with the fly as well too. This is the air footsies. It's so crazy to watch, man. Ooh, with the reflies as well too. Anime Nick is kind of nasty actually. Ooh, real good right now. Yeah. Go for the wave dash Wenzel's right there. Wenzel Commando is bleeding in the back too. Animated yeah. Nick, I think, right now just has a much healthier team. Damn. Wenzel's really in a spot where he can't afford to call it. And with Animated Nick having a commando assist of his own, I feel like it's not like you can choose to go and, and try to be more aggressive to make it happen. It's not going to work out. And the hard, and the crazy thing about this is the, is the, the confirms that Anime Mix doing. He's doing refly combos. So refly combos are different from fly combos. Okay. Uh, so, so reflies... He's already in flight mode, and he lands a light kick. Normally, like it's hard to confirm light kick, light kick into rocket punch. So what you're doing is he's doing light kick while in flight mode, cancel out of flight, go back into flight, and then combo into light kick again, and that's how he gets to confirm. So that combo is really, really hard. It's it's like tough on your hands. Who will survive? I, I mean, it sounds like it, right? I'm imagining, like, 
Morrigan uh, Soul Spiral uh, fly it's, on it's, fly. It's, it's, I've been like, it's, it's I was with them like three times as fast. Yeah. Because you're faster. doing it in order to link short into short. Exactly. That is crazy, almost as crazy as how dead Wenzel's storm is right now. Animated Nick. Yeah, he's real okay. strong off that character switch. Ooh. Well, Wenzel, I mean, Wenzel has a really good send note. His main problem, like I said, he, he doesn't know when to stop. He's very aggressive. So he'll keep calling that corridor out and make Commando bleed. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening, too. He's stuck in the corner, animated Nick, surrendering a little bit of space, a lot of respect for that Commando assist. But with all of that respect, he's still doing a great job of sniping it out when Wenzel tries to call it. Yep. Oh, nice combo. Good. That, now that's a regular fly combo right there. Yeah, and he doesn't have meter. Wenzel could have punished him, but I think he was scared. Wenzel, Wenzel has so much bar. I feel like if you can catch animated Nick Sentinel on the ground, uh, I mean, we have to make the swap over now because we want Sentinel to live. Oh, at the time? Is the nah, he here, didn't have to do that. <laughs> is the goal here just to let Sent get his red life back? Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty much. And you know, you know how you mentioned, like, oh, like, he had, Wenzel has so much bar, and he can, like, he needs to off of him but the problem is is that Seno is always in there this game is a very super jump heavy hmm. oh my man it's taunting with the t-bag too <laughs> jesus christ yeah, it, it's a super jump heavy game right so because it's a super jump heavy game you don't really get those ground ground conversions that you, that you that you think could make the comeback it's hmm. tough it's like a shimmy some people just can't help themselves with a throw tech. So guilty. So calling your assists as the initiator, it's like a throw tech. So I treat it as like if I'm if I if I dash in front of your face, you're gonna call your assist first. And then I counter call second. I see. That's that's actually how it really is. God, this is another mirror match. Same teams as well. Sent Storm Commando for both Baby Missile and Dark Dio. Mm. Go for the Rocket Punch. Ooh, look at that. Pick up. Yeah, a lot of pickups right here. Yeah. Ooh, with the Rocket Punch, but no cancel though. Oh, go for the swap over. We have the hailstorm. Oh my! I was about to call out how Dark Dio's uh, commando was bleeding, but that is looking both, similar both on both bleeding, sides yeah. now. Yeah, it, it looks very similar. Cause look at Baby Missile Sentinel too. He needs to let that mm. Sentinel heal. Yeah, I mean at least you have the health advantage here against Storm, and uh, you can just try to. It, it's in your favor to get that red health back. And to try to keep it slow. Oh man, saving the commando. Nice, cool. good launch right there. I didn't have a meter to DHC to kill Storm, but still gets the try jump. Sentinel moves away though. Yeah, that, I I felt like that was about to be you know a, a pick up on the assist, but we didn't quite get it. Not blocking the low after that one, baby missile. One character left on the side of Dark Dio, and we get. Oh, there was a tech, yeah. Well, no, he got grabbed there. Yeah, he got grabbed there, but then he tech like late. Oh, okay. you, 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 you could, there's like two text, two type of tech throws. It's like uh, you get grabbed, it's a fast tech, and or you take some damage and then you tech after. I see. Okay. I guess I guess I it's kind of like I've Grand Blue. Played a game that had that. It's like Grand Blue. Grand Blue has that. I, I didn't a, play a lot of Grand Blue. Oh, yeah, Grand Blue has like an early tech and late tech. But if you late tech and Grand Blue, you got to take the offense mix. But you're out of the grab. And you lose a little bit of life. Oh, okay. But Capcom games, I don't think has that at all. Besides Marvel. All right, loading back in for the mirror once again. And I'm going to let everybody know this is a match. Uh, actually, this is, uh, yeah, this is a match to get into the top eight. We are uh, most of the way through the early phase of this bracket right now. Yeah, you, yeah, we saw Smooth Viper, Anime, and Nick make it. So now this, this is Baby Missile and Dark Dios. 
Ooh, look at look at Dark Dio's Sentinel though. He needs to get him out. Yeah. But a lot of times, bleeding. Yeah. A lot of times you don't want to like kind of like just get him out unless you can get some damage on the table. I think he's waiting to get like some type of damage, like like that, right? Mm. Do some damage on Commando just a little bit, so it's not just like a complete loss of two meters. I, I don't. I wonder what the call out was for that additional Hellstorm that he just did. I, maybe it was just like a hard read on an assist yeah. call or something. It, it really is a hard read. For Storm, you don't you you could you don't have to be cheap with your meter. You just throw it out. Oh, because you generate it so easily. Yeah. Look. Yeah. She, look. Every time she whips the fierce, fierce, fierce. He already hit she feels far. See, just like that. Like he'll boom. Hillstorm might as well be a special move, damn. It might as well be. It comes it comes out every like five seconds. But now right. she has no bar, right? So she has to find a way to build bar. But she but she's almost has another bar. Oh, there yeah, it is, it Hailstorm! Oh, and we get the pickup off of that. Commando assist in the bag is really low. Yeah, but look at baby missile. We got four bars to throw out. That's one more. Look at that. Got commando. Snipe commando there. Wow. Crouching heavy kick and tire. Maybe do it again. Yep. Do it again. Yeah, we have another. That's exactly what they're going to do. Just catching it all the way out. With the raw tag? Oh. That's so much damage. That's a dead sentinel. Just like that, Dark Dios is on the back foot in this matchup. I feel like they, they could have made this game happen. And off of that call, it is fully over, I think. Yeah, the raw tag was was weird because he was playing so solid. Uh oh. Oh. Go for the mix. Oh, but he held up, though. Nice block on the try jump. Right. Hurry up. Hurry up. Do it again. Out. Might as well. Oh. Uh, if he did okay. dash roundhouse, dash roundhouse would have worked, though. 14 seconds left on the clock. Mark Deal spending another tough. bar. It's doable if you can land a hit, but if there's so little time left, it's getting more and more difficult. Now you're going to die on chip. I mean, the fact that you have to navigate and respect around that commando assist means that you can't be as aggro as I feel like you really have to be in order to bring that to its conclusion. So, yeah, yeah, he want he doesn't want to play the MSP mirror match. So he's going to rely on Dawson because Dawson can keep away Magneto. Let's see what we're gonna see here. I, yeah. I mean, what do you do? I mean, it, having Cyclops assist in the back too, so not the best version uh, of a, a get off me assist here. Definitely a team that looks like it's meant a little bit more to try to be the aggressor. So I feel like trying to keep away here is it's not the way that he wants to play this team, although it is working. No, Dawson is super fast, so he he can be slippery. And the thing about Dawson. Well, oh, that's not gonna work. Is that if he lands a combo, it's going to hurt. Nice. Look at a oh. reset right there. That's a throw. He has the air throw super. Rumnito even donated an extra bar for the cause. Yeah. And speaking of donations, big shout out to Turtle Power for the twenty dollar direct contribution, and also Grand Master Torch for thirty six seventy five. They're at two hundred dollars right now. Damn. Thanks everybody for showing up for Marvel. Psylocke is bleeding in the back right now. Yeah, look at that. And, and look how much meter beats a double has. Yeah, that Brian House is neutral. It, it, yeah, I mean, it, it controls everything outside of like, unless you're already at super jump height, it looks like you kind of have to eat it. Yeah, but even, even he can super jump Brian House too. So he can chase you with, with Brian House. Of normals Wait, from like full limb? screen away. It's the same limb. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can like nice literally try up. jump roundhouse, roundhouse. It's really nice. But Romnito needs to get something. He doesn't have any bar. He gets hit by Gene Spice. Here's unblockable. Yeah, Psylocke. For some reason, also. Psylocke is so easy to unblockable Psylocke. Why is that? Is it like a width of a hurt box thing? Yeah, pretty much. It's a hurt box thing. She just has a oh. wider hip box below the waist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even trolling. This is actually a rich section. No, I believe you. I believe you. It's just, it's just the implications of it. 
Bro, that's those that's the keywords for her for real life, huh? <laughs> God damn. Sticking with the Dalsim. Is Romnito making a, a swap to his team here? No, he's going he's going with Magneto. He just wants the first attack glitch. So he was he was hovering cable for a little bit there. Yeah, cable would not work. Cable versus Dalsim. That's like a 10-0 matchup. For Dalsim. The reason why is that like um if he, if he air teleports near, it resets his air actions. Oh. So he can so he, he can stay in the air with teleport air dash forever if he wants it to. Wow. Oh yeah, my god, look at the damage on the trombone. Like to... Oh this is huge. This is Oh Yo, he got mauled. Much oh. better round start. Uh oh, unblockable? No oh, misses the jab fierce ender though. Nice. Caught him with the ROM. Goes for the reset. That's so greedy. Snap back. Doesn't work. A little bit too slow. Wow. Tronis is calling him out. Getting a little bit of chip damage here. Is Ron Mido. Yeah. Gets the pickup from the Gene Splice, though. Goes for the low. Ron Nito. Luckily, he was in the air when he got hit by that. Fly combo. Don't oh. confirm, though, from the short. Mm. That's not my hit. Oh, what a trade. They are swinging. Raw oh. tag. And there's a lot of life uh, back for Magneto. It's hard to call Tron in this spot, but I mean, you're in such a dominant position. Oh, we clipped the Cyclops. Yeah, Cy but one thing is like, uh, Beats of Devil was trying to call his assist there right there. But if you call your assist at the frame where you get hit, he comes out and just does a taunt. So he doesn't, he won't fulfill his like gene splice or any other action that you assigned the assist. They put a frame perfect punishment for calling a bad assist. Yeah, pretty much. He said that was probably gonna think. Yeah, he's still thinking like, do I go with Dalsim? Because the thing about Dalsim, he also has low life. Um, so okay. the Tron Von Rings is cooking him right now. Like, it looks like he's sticking to it. Yeah, going to Cyclops right here. It's not like a commando, because Tron is his beats commando on like if it's called out at the same time. Alright, toss the round star game back gonna go this time. Nice. All right. oh, we are able to get out there is beats. Good mash off the hypergraph. Yeah, keeping the neutral. Ooh, you see that? The try jump fierce. Try jump roundhouse too. Nice block on the overhead. It's gonna trade. Oh. Yeah, hit both characters. Tron catches it out. Yeah. Gene Splice still getting smoked out. No, he's gonna let Dawson die. That was such a good Typhoon. Bomb Nito looking good right here. Do all that damage. Rolls back in the corner. All right, high low mix up. Went for the low. Nice block on the low from Romnito. This feels like it's borderline unlosable for Romnito. Unless I, I he gets mean, in. Every time I feel like, oh, that's fair. But uh, I think, okay. Switches in the Cyclops. We're going to be able to keep the Sentinel alive just a bit. Air throw, but clipped off of a side swap there. Romnito nice. Back in the driver's seat. Oh, oh Matt. Yeah, that's not going to work. Go for the bubble? Oh, yeah. I think if he went for the bubble, the combo. Now he has all this Magneto to work with huge and the, i feel like the tron assist beats of devils just really not had an answer to it yeah tron assist is pretty it hurts you know what i mean like it's not like the best anti-air but it's down to trade all right. i mean otherwise the game would be crazy hectic right because everyone would just be calling assists in each other's face all the time and who knows what would happen if you know the fact that there is this interaction is what lets these situations have some depth mss versus sentinel cable commando yeah you can see smooth viper we've seen him play sandrax but he also can play magneto because this is a counter pick he wants to counter pick anime and nick he doesn't want to play like the mirror match he wants to try to like maul him what is it that because makes the counter pick is it that magneto beats sentinel it's more of just like the Magneto Rocket Punch is really good counter against Corridor. Because when you ah, see a character see. like Magneto, because you're so scared, 
you're going to call Corridor first, right? So then Magneto's going to call Rocket Punch second and just Rocket Punch Commandos in the face. And that takes like a good 20% of this luck, of this health. I see. So it's, it is particularly adept at blowing up Commando and removing that from the tool camp. Yep, exactly. And he's getting rushed down right here. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, MSS is really good against uh, a Sentinel Cable Commando team. Smooth Viper gonna be able to close this one out. I think whether whether or not you drop the combo there is a formality, right? You have so much bar, you could have just killed on chip whenever you felt like it. That is our first game. And with us in the top eight, I'm gonna remind everybody, it is three out of five the rest of the way through now. Nice. Yeah, three out of five. More games, the better. It's crazy because um, three out of five, we never had three out of five games um, during Marvel 2 top eight, like during its heyday. It was always two out of three. Only winners or losers finals are, are like three out of five. I, I I feel like three out of five is very much as a tournament format feels like a much more modern artifact. Yeah, that's true. All right, this is gonna be tough. Nice animated. Nick gets out. Now he's gonna just run away. Try to build two bars, but he's gonna get double mm. snap. And it's exactly what we were talking about. Yeah, the reason why that happened was that Commando came out with a taunt. So that means Smooth Viper was able to hit Storm before Commando can get the corridor. I see. I I had missed the taunt part. Some of the stuff that happens in this game can be so quick. It, it's with without knowing what to watch for, it can be really hard to identify it. Night. Those try jump but misses the short short dash here. So. All right, here we go. Storm, Storm versus Storm. Yeah, you see Smooth Viper whipping that, that super jump light kick because he wants to get that confirmed lightning attack. And go with the Sendo DHC to take out Storm. So now anime is Nick's comeback factor is completely gone now. He has to win Sendo just by himself. Pretty honest, I would say, if he makes his comeback. I mean, the, the advantage, I, I guess, here compared to some of the other Sen mirror matches that we've watched so far this evening is like Smooth Viper isn't equipped with like a corridor or, or an assist like that that's going to give them that an added degree of air coverage. I, oh, yeah. I feel like it's when they're on the ground is when they need to be mindful for the assist, but with the amount of health that you have, this is still difficult. Okay, that was a... I was about to give credit for the super call out on the Magneto assist, but Smooth Viper Sentinel was in the position to blow that up, so that's a quick second game. Yeah, quick second game right there. And even if you're like stuck at the corner with Sentinel, your whole goal is to build meter and then DHC out regardless uh, if, if, if you feel like there's trouble. So when you call your assist and this is how Smooth Viper was doing with calling EM Disruptor, the EM Disruptor will help build assist because it's technically doing a move. So it counts as the action of like, okay, you build a little bit of, uh, build, a, build a little meter. Oh, okay. So, literally, you don't even care about the actual move. It, it might as well just be, I'm getting a little bit of extra free ball. In that situation, yes. Huh. But when you see Iron Man do infinites and calling assists, it, it, he's, he's building extra bar because the assist is being called. Nice. Uh, decent bit of chip animated Nick in a good uh, spot. Oh, ah, he got the happy birthday, but he misses the punish. Sano comes in, but look at how, look how much life he lost, though. Yeah, so Storm doesn't have very much. Has to bring that back in. Bringing in the Storm of his own there is Smooth Viper now. Yeah, punishes Commando right there with the Typhoon. Ha 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 ha. And that's going to hit both characters. No, not Storm was able to block there, but no cancel the Lightning Storm. You kind of have to do it. Can we swap Bring in Sentinel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but drops it though. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, he could have comboed all three supers, and then Sentinel would have been not killed, but almost down to like at least 90% health for, for Storm. I, I was about to say, at least your commando has some health in the back, so you could try to navigate this neutral, but it was always going to get away from you eventually. Disruptor comes out to finish off the storm and a pit on incoming. I don't even know. It wouldn't be the first time we saw a captain commando at the end to just let go of the controller. Yeah, pretty much, right? <laughs> at that point, you, there's no way you make it a comeback. 
Like, if it was just only Magneto and Storm, then Commando would probably fight. But when you see a full Sentinel, there's no reason for you to, like, hey, you know what? I think I could win this. You just can't. Right. So here we got uh, so EX Prominence. And Wenzel, then? Wenzel. And Wenzel's known to play Commando, but he doesn't want to play Commando against Doctor Doom. Because Doctor Doom beats Commando when they come out at the same time. But Cyclops beats Commando at the same time when Doctor Doom comes out. It's kind of like rock, paper, scissors when it comes to, when it comes to assists. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Nice short short right there. I'm surprised he didn't go for the confirm. Wow. Really, really clipping out that dude and smoking out the, the bomb call there from EX Prominence. Just every time you go up there, it's like you're fully locked in on this animation. I can just do whatever I want now. Yeah, I mean, that's Iron Man doesn't have the best neutral. So that's kind of like his only move that he has he can rely on. But with the trap looking good, though. Nice block on the double overhead. But not this mm. time, though. It's hit by yeah, the, the dogs. Say, one and done chip damage a concern. Finding the tag out there does Wenzel, so the Sentinel is back in. Yeah, the one thing Thomas made a mistake was he gave Wenzel too much respect. Because he had the orbs, but he, he jumped away because he assumed that they were going to alpha counter and mess up Strider's trap. But sometimes you just have to go for it and accept that situation. Yeah, just accept it. Oh. Because now Cyclops is in. I mean, he's definitely the weakest point character on this team, so I, I guess if you can find the momentum, you get a little bit of time to try to control things, but the momentum was not to be found. x is just on the Doom now. Yeah, he's pressing this roundhouse, and Doom is not going to make this comeback. Yeah, right, the damage right there is so the minimal. Sentinel. Yeah, but the damage is still minimal there. Yeah. It didn't have the bar. I was not going to have the breathing room to try to build it by whiffing things. Yeah, Doom Super, the Photon Rays, it does a lot of damage, but it has to be in your face. Do you expect to see a character swap? Or are we going to no, try to keep with running Doom. with that? He's going to stick with Doom. Because Akuma only he's only he only picks Akuma against Cyblade. Anyone that plays Psylocke assist. And is, is does Akuma just do a particularly good job at countercalling that? I'm gonna be honest, not really. I don't know why he picks <laughs> why he picks Akuma. That's, it just works for him. That's a weird choice. Yeah, it's it's just funny that he plays Psylocke because it doesn't make sense to me. But I'm 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 all for it. Hey, if anybody knows, let us know because. That that seems a very specific choice. Still getting caught out near Cliff Low. Nice raw tag. Oh, doesn't get the combo, but he's gonna activate the orbs. What? Now the lightning attack hit. That was crazy. But this is bad for Strider because he has no orbs, so he's so he has to play kind of like a runaway game for a little bit. All right, activates the orbs there. Able to chase down Storm. But now the orbs run out, gets triangle jump, gets open up, and Wenzel is definitely going to point the finger. Iron Man Doom coming in. Not looking like it's going to be a great spot. I mean, EX Prominence always has... You can always bust out the infinite if you are able to get the hit, but we've not really seen EX Prominence have the chance to be very active on the screen at 80 points. Cyclops Assist. If it's not getting called out for the bombs, it's Cyclops Assist. All that said, here we are. Yeah. And you see that combo that he just did before he went into this infinite? Oh, but he drops oh. the combo. That was all refly. Any character with flight can do refly. Oh, well, yeah, oh. yeah, it has, has a bit refly. But it's just not as good with, with Storm or Magneto. And so Sentno and Iron Man, they capitalize off of reflies a lot. For Iron Man, it's more for combo conversion. Okay, Going back for to run away right there. Play. Yeah, of course, that's Iron Man. You, you don't, you're not trying to fight Iron Man. You're trying to run away from Iron Man. Oh, nice.
nice side swap. We don't get a pickup off of it. Air jab. We have the supers, but I mean, EX Prime doesn't have a lot of bar. This is the same sort of uh, situation that we saw in the previous game playing out the same. Yeah. Iron Man is not able to be very active on the screen. Strider can get stuff going, but doesn't end up having uh, the gas in the tank to do a whole lot with it. And it just feels like EX Prominence runs out of steam. Yeah, he definitely... I don't even know if it's run out of steam. I think it's more run out of resource. Because like, if Iron Man doesn't do his job in the point game, because his, 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 uh, his job is to build the meter for, for Strider. So Strider can keep the trap going and everything like that. So if Iron Man gets smoked, then his whole team kind of falls apart. Yeah, tries, tries to enter for jump around house right there. Okay, finally a little bit more activity we're seeing coming out of EX problems here. Earned just a bit more breathing room, but now Cyclops has brought us back to neutral slightly in Wenzel's favor. Yep. Yeah, it's I mean, trying to fight his way in again. Uh, that's the neutral queen. Oh, but he gets the hit though. Yep, using the unfly huh. air actions, and he's gonna be able to convert to infinite. Oh, but he drops oh. the combo. Wait, but he gets it anyway. Uh, no! Oh my God, that's the second time we've seen that troublesome drop in the super ex prominence, and every opportunity that they have to actually bring it to the finish line, it slips through their fingers. Strider. Yeah. Three additional orbs in the back. Oh, four now. Yeah, I got four now. I also think the problem was with that punish why Iron Man died. When he got the second hit, he tried to go for the, the refly combo. But since he was already doing the Iron Man infinite, which puts him in normal jump mode, because he's jumping straight up, mm. he, he doesn't have unfly. Nice raw tag. Oh. Activate the orb. Storm's going to run away again. But look how much meter Ryder has. No cancel though. Gets the Ragnarok and hits. Oh. Right. That, that, was, that, was, feeling... that was an accident too, and it worked out. Yeah, this is feeling a little more doable for EX Prominence. I think the big thing is you need to figure out an answer to that Cyclops assist. You were just getting oh. smoked for it. Oh, no, okay, never mind. It's all gone. Yeah, yeah he missed the punish. He jumped out the Hyper Sentinel Force, but he pressed his jump pairs way too early. Okay, doesn't get the big, the best combo, but he could chip him out. Yeah, I think he tried to chip him out there. Mm, yep, go for the laser, okay. jump out right there. Now it's gonna be Doom versus Cyclops, but Cyclops is favored in this matchup. Big punish. No cycling. Doesn't combo there. Could have done this light, light punch optic blast here. Chip damage. That One more be a really super optic blast there. We'll, we'll kill. Real factor. Yeah. It, 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 at this point, EX Prominence really can't afford to be caught out on the ground. Yeah, but you could do that super in the air as well, too. What is it? Like, what does Doom have equipped to be able to stop Cyclops from just running away and, and building bar like that? You, you don't. You have to kind of like try to like wave dash under them and try to go for a cross up launch right here. Ooh. Just like that. 3 0 from Wenzel's side. I just can't believe it. Romnito and Baby Missile loading in here. Three out of five. Winner side winner. If this goes on to play against Smooth Viper, do you think either yeah. of these players is is favorable in the matchup? Romnito straight to the, the Tron. I think Baby Missile has a better shot. But Romnito, I mean, he is really fast. So we'll see. He's using Tron Bond to counter commando assist as well, too. Oh, but Romnito spends the snap. That's already a bar on the back foot already. I mean, at least you're trying to be the aggressor. You're gradually gaining some real estate on the screen, but Baby Missile moves forward with that Sentinel, really doing a much more effective job at earning a little bit here. Yep. Nice. Oh, oh I think Magneto definitely swap. gonna press the button there. Magneto's his, his, his coming down light kick is so good. But look at Commando's life, but look at, look at Tron's life. He's, she's dead. Oh, she is a dead commando call on the back wow it's still going yeah that's coming now once once you got no more tron you're gonna you're gonna see pal all day that's captain cordor 
Sheesh, that was a that was a really dominant first game. The second Tron was off the board. I, I mean, it was a it was a big. I, I feel like Baby Missile just off rip was doing a really good job at playing around it and, and waiting for the right opportunity to call it out. Yeah, he's also doing a great job at just making it rain against Tron assist because Tron is also a big character. So if you hit her with like a hailstorm or like a multi-hitting super, she takes more damage because her hurt box or her hitbox is so big. Oh, we're going with I, I, MSP though. Yeah, I was not aware that the size of your hurt box could affect how much damage you took. Yeah, it's, you remember how Marvel 3 Shuma kind of had a weird body, so the combos are kind of hard? Yeah. So it's like that, but which helped them. But in this game, the fatter you are, the more damage you take. I, I guess they must be like looking at the amount of collision between yeah, exactly. the, the thing that's hitting them in the hurt box. Those are the fierce, laming it out with the frying pan. Baby missile is playing oh, so the double fast snap right though. Now. Can he catch him? Oh, he missed the dash. He definitely could have catch them. Oh, we're going for a knockdown though. Nice jump out. That's if Ramito is able to kill this commando, I feel like this is going to be a really great spot, even with how hurting that Magneto is. I mean, just getting that uh, commando assist off the board. Now you can try to be the rushdown aggressor that you've been uh, aiming to be all this time. Yeah, I think Ramito is trying to do Tempest the whole entire time. He couldn't get the motion out. Oh, I think his stick disconnected. <laughs> oh no. Oh wait, I think it's back. Cause he was just, he was just kind of sitting there. Nice tempest right there. Both the roll, oh, both wow. backwards. That nice, that was an awesome. was crazy. Yeah, the wave dash is so good. Nice reset. That's Magnash. Look at that. Yeah, go for the normal jump. Control the pudding. Just like that. Rom Nido. One to one. Yeah, getting that commando assist off the board was absolutely everything. The Psylocke change, uh, giving him, I think, some more opportunities to try to really stay in there and, and make more opportunities for himself, even despite the commando assist and having to respect it a little bit. I need you to do me a favor, Brad. Yeah? I've been having uh, some debates with people. When Psylocke does her butterfly super, uh -huh. I want you to tell me what she says. All right. I gotta listen. Yeah, I'm, 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 when she does, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point it out. So you, so you, so I'm not, I'm not gonna talk, and I just want you to tell me what she says. All right. Yeah, call it out when it happens. I see now. I'm now I'm like intrigued because you know, how, like, like Luke does his level three and Street Fighter six. People are like, oh, he's saying Memphis, but it's obviously he's not yeah. saying Memphis. So I right. want you, it's kind of similar to that, but, but it's not like she says Memphis, but I just want you to uh, to tell me what she says, because when, when I tell people what what I think she says, people think I'm tripping. <laughs> All right, fair enough. There goes the rocket punch right here. So oh, side blade. Okay. Not that fierce, but having a hard time navigating around that frying pan and the commando assist. Okay. Oh my god. Psylocke nice super trip out. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't get the punish on the hyper send of course. Yep. Pause the storm to come out. Yep. To get Magneto out safely. Let him fight another day. Oops. Complete mode switch here to the storm. Much more defensive. Trying to earn that bar. Catching a nice uh, low opportunity here. Yep. Lightning storm. I mean, any damage on Sentinel is good, right? Yo, that's true. Also, MSP is really good against Sentinel because Sideblade causes a knockdown as an assist, so he doesn't get unfly from it. Oh, okay. So it's it like specifically hampers that part of his toolkit. Exactly, because if Commando or Cyclops hit Sentinel, then they get unfly. But Sideblade, no. So it's harder for a Sentinel to get unfly against MSP. Oh my god, Magneto is able to come in off the tag. He saves Storm. 
Baby Missile trying to build that bar. Both of the characters for Romnito here, so little life, and Psylocke eats the Hailstorm on that assist call that time. But oh, wait, Romnito wait. only needs one hit to get it started. Yeah, that's going to be enough. Look at that side switch as well, too. That was chip damage. Ooh, same side. The command Sentinel was able to take the hit here. Goes for the Typhoon. Nice try jump, but misses it, though. Oh my Ooh, the god, corridor. so much patience, what a corridor! What'd she say? I... I didn't catch it, it happens too quick. Okay, okay. Next time. Cause I didn't think he was gonna do the super there. Uh, me neither, that's why I didn't catch it. Alright, maybe, maybe he might right. get it here. If he gets a hit. Alright, I'm listening intently, I'm paying too much attention. Alright, oh no, come on! Oh. Why you do sweep? You had the combo attempt. Oh my uh, god. It's, I like, it, it's like he heard you. He's like, no, I'm absolutely not. Oh, man. I almost Sometimes you I wonder mean, if the players have your voice in their ears. That was a close match, though. 2-1. Mm. Yeah, right now it's 2-1 right now. Yeah, absolutely. It's super tight. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're probably gonna stick with MSP for sure. I mean, it, it's made a massive difference for them. It's, yeah, it's it's also a mental thing because these two teams are the theoretically best two teams in the game. Um, but now the ceiling for MSP is getting higher and higher. So more people are like thinking MSP is the best team in the game. so interesting that the ceiling can still be getting higher and higher even after all this time yeah i mean back in the day people you know it was harder to get good and i think it's still like that like that like uh, for most for the most part because there's no guys no resources for for older games so people are kind of like have to make their own stuff now I mean, there's not even a, a, a lot of footage of some of that older stuff for people to be able to like reverse engineer stuff that might have been more commonplace then. Yeah, I mean, there, there is footage, but it's more like they're 360p, 480p. You know, they're not clear, right? Yeah, it's it's hard to use that. Oh my God, Psylocke bleeding she's, in the yeah, back. Yeah, she's dead. Storm nice not out. long for this world either. Yeah, jumps out of the manic shockwave right there. But, man, you know, solo is so hard. Like, because he can't really open you up that easily. This, yeah, he's not going to get anything from that. Only gets a, only gets the EM Disruptor. Mm. Baby Missile takes it. Three to one. Not everyone's killing you in one touch on this game. Mm -hmm. Where in, in three, it's like it feels like every character has a touch of death off of whatever they want. Yeah. So, it, it, can you kind of call it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we're getting a Dark Deals versus Kodiak right here. Yes, I, indeed. Kodiak is so interesting. I'm just really starting cable on point. Ooh. Go for the bullets. Dark Deals, oh, wave man. dashing. Yeah, nice catch with Psychopathesis. Some great movement. Okay. Slowly forcing his way out with the block strings there. But having to respect that Psychopathesis. Getting out of the corner with that cross under. So we have a little bit more real estate to work with here gonna trade yeah no bullets no hit confirm on the bullets right there you because if you if you get hit by a jump heavy punch especially from super jump you have so much time to confirm all right didn't want to commit any other bar i think probably because they didn't have enough to kill oh but we are gonna commit it when we kill two characters right yeah oh storm falls out but shit yeah it's okay because look cyclops come in and he loses all that red health hyper viper beam yeah, mm. Cyclops super was the same slow. Thing. Like that was waiting on waiting for Dark Dios to make the first play and just answering it. Solo Sentinel versus uh, a full team here for Kodiak. Yeah, goes for the jump fierce. Cable's blocking and he's willing to take all this. Hey, guard cancels out. And he gets another hyper viper beam. I don't see Kodiak mm. raw tagging. Yeah, he'll let Cable die. Yeah, I mean, it, no reason not to, right? He like he did his job. He got you to this point. Yeah, go for the easy infinite. One, two, three, four. Walk him down. And even even when you're doing ROM, 
You can, you could. Oh, oh. Wow, he tried. He tried to freestyle. Oh, okay, you, combo you, drop you, out yeah, of Dark yeah. DS. Yeah, you don't have to do as fast. Nice, good launch right okay. there. But Cyclops can just super jump in and just chip you out here. No, no mash. Oh man, you didn't mash hard this... enough. Okay, clipped by the assist. I was about to say, like, until Kodiak finds some bar, like, it, it seemed like it was almost doable for Dios there. Yeah, almost. But the problem with Dios also is that like he doesn't, he didn't have any more super. So because he was running out of super, it's harder for him to kind of like dish out the damage. Because getting, like, trying to land a raw launch, like, Sentinel can't combo his launch, like, as other characters can, like, like, dash up, like, jab, jab, launch. Like, he can't do that. Oh, so, oh, we got a, somebody crashed. Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like Dark Dio's got, got booted out. He, he just needs to come back. Sometimes little crashes like that does happen, it seems like. I mean, look. One can never fully compensate for the fact that the internet is going to be the internet, right? Like sometimes shit just happens. Oh, oh, he said he got he chose the wrong assist. So, oh, I see. I gotta I gotta give you guys a tech. If somebody picks the wrong assist, the host can just exit the lobby and it goes back to the screen. Ooh. So the player doesn't have to leave or like all F four or whatever. The host can control that. So it's it's a, that's a nice quality of life thing that they did. Um, so and it goes like it's like super fast. Do you do you feel like this is the the best version of this game that that we've gotten to use now? Um, I don't know, because this, this is based off the art. This is based off the arcade version. All right, and most most people play on the Dreamcast version, which is a little bit faster. Right. But what I do appreciate to this game, it doesn't have slowdown. Because um, you know how like older games use older chipsets, and sometimes right. like things can like possibly slow down, lag. Right, too many sprites on the screen, stuff yeah. gets dropped. Yeah, so this doesn't have that issue, which is really nice. The, that slowdown, that wasn't something that was like regarded as just part of the game. Like it would actively interfere with things that you guys were doing. It would happen not often but right. sometimes sometimes it just, it's like a, it's like something just overheats i don't know i don't know why it happens but it just happens but but, but you but you but you mash through it it usually mm. happens after, after so many supers happen it doesn't happen in neutral it just, it just kind of happens when there's like four supers in a row or something yeah i mean all of the all the vfx going all at once oh, no whiff punish. nice Good catch from Dios. Goes for the empty jump. Oh, Ooh, again, the mix-up. Is it enough, though? He, he has to do it. Look at Cyclops, though. He killed Cable, but Cyclops lost all that health. All right, Magneto does have the Cyclops assist to the back, but Dark Dios, okay, clips with the low. Just like that, it's dead. Solo Cyclops. I don't think you can do that here. Got the glass. Yep. Ooh. Oh my god. With the leg toss. He's a behold. Oh, he didn't oh, launch. Wow, that actually Cyclops. caught out. Yeah. That caught out Dios' Cyclops. I didn't even see that. Yeah, when when, when Cyclops hits with the Gene Spice Super, after the Super, he can't block on the way down. So that's why you see Dios trying to launch him, but he kept uh... mistiming. But the thing is, Kodiak Cyclops... You can activate your your double jump. A Cyclops has a double jump, but he just can't come down pressing a button. Uh, I see. So you still get to, even if it's not guaranteed, like you still get to chase that down and take your turn. Oh yeah, sort of. It's more of just like just, if you're able to catch him in time. Yeah, I guess turn taking is, is not a good way to describe this game, I imagine. Yeah, there's rarely, there's no turn taking. There, there, there's it's far uh, more, far force, more force, force your turn. Magneto first, yeah, Magneto on point. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Pick up right into the snap. Are we pulling out? Yeah, bringing in Cyclops, wanting to remove that assist from the table. Yeah. He was trying to guard break too, but he missed his guard break. I knew it was like one of the best characters for easy guard breaks. Bringing cable. Has a bit of damage on this. Yeah, so much damage. As long as he can find a little bit more breathing room and find another uh, opportunity. We don't storm is now brought in for Dark Dios. Okay. Go for the Viper Beam, but no dashing forward. Oh, huh, huh, huh. he's building these two bars. Yeah. Both of these players right now are seem fully content to just build some bar for themselves. Oh, Clips, the Cyclops has the Air Hyper Viper to close that one up, but Dark Dios. Oh, that's crazy. The Cyclops, he's still alive. That's a decision. It works out, though. It might work out his best. Oh, tries to go for the launch. There's Optic Blast right here. Dark Dios doesn't have an anti to protect Cyclops. Goes low, oh, medium low. low. Yeah, medium low is too good. You gotta guess my triangle jump for low. All right, Mag Storm, Mag Cyclops smoked on incoming. Kodiak, two characters to one. Dark yeah. Dios really needs to. Oh. Oh, misses the launch right there. EM Disruptor, Tiger Knee, EM Disruptor. That's another thing that's really good. TK moves in this game are so good. More Typhoons. Having some, having some bar to spend. You can tell, like, Kodiak is just not calling the assist. Playing this as a solo 1v1 because he can't really risk losing uh, the Cyclops to some of these random hailstorms. Yeah. But he, it's okay to use Cyclops as this. Like, just because, like, since Cyclops had, like, 90% health, it's okay to take a hail. You can afford it. If it was Cable, though, I wouldn't recommend calling this, especially if he has loaded bar, because it'll just loop the Hyper Viper Beam against the assist all day. Right, let's see. What's going to be the counter pick, though? Uh, I think we're going to keep the same team, actually. Uh... Oh, MSP. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like, we. We are making a change. Yeah. Like manual psych like manual cyclops is good. But it's harder to confirm. Manual Psylocke, everything lands and leads into the same thing. Oh my god, but you can see Kodiak already seems it, it prepared to operate around Psylocke. It's been five seconds and she's at 40% life. Bringing in the Psylocke, it's all gone. Yeah, look at that. I mean everyone knows kind of the matchup. Oh, he's trying to oh. attack again. That doesn't. If he was closer to the corner, that works. Nice launch. Oh, nice pick him up. That? He gets shot. Okay, he has two bars. Oh, misses the misses the trigger. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe I don't bring imagine, in that doesn't feel worth it just for Chip. No, I think he he preemptively pulled the pulled the trigger there. He thought the jump pierce was probably gonna hit. So there was no confirm. It was more of like, I'm gonna just do it. Oh, clips out the. Was that the startup of a hailstorm? Yeah. Okay, hailstorm going the... up there is gonna be startup. Our break. Storm down, Psylocke still super low. Yeah, but MS. But man, you know, Psylocke can do something. Look at this. Here's the start. Take out cable. Oh my god. I don't know what he was trying to do there needs to be watching for these Cyclops counter calls. Happens again. Psylocke cannot afford to get hit again. Oh no, stands up into it? Is that what happens? I think he tried to slide. Because if you do crouching heavy kick, he does a little slide. He's... Yeah. So I think he was trying to go under. But it didn't work. So. Why do you think they would pick Cyclops over Commando against... I, I mean, the Tron has been such a specific assist choice out of Romnito, so I have to imagine that's informing the decision. It's because the Tron assist beats Captain Corridor. Like if, they call, if they call out at the same time, Tron will win the XP. So if you pick Psylocke, which Romnito does, Wenzo will pick Corridor, because Captain Commando beats Psylocke at the same time. 
Did you guys ever do like double blind picks with all of the counter picking and how important it seems like that is? Oh yeah, uh, it, it happened eventually. Romito, this is the same uh, problem we had seen uh, for him in, in some of the previous games. Like he's got this, you know, storm off the uh, off the board. Yeah. But no, I'm sorry, I had that backwards. Uh, yeah, it was. I, that's what I was about to highlight is that the Tron through all of that was made to bleed and is now off the table. Yeah, that's, I think that's the main issue is that Wenzo is willing to to focus on the assists. So if you're not protecting your assists at every single moment, damage will be on the table. Oh, but Romito hit the fierce rounds against standing Sentinel. Oh, but he gets a shockwave though. Get, get the mix, dashes back, thought those gene spice was coming. Yeah, I like that extra seconds hesitation there from Wenzel. Uh-oh, here we go. We got an opportunity. He dropped it. Nice blocks. Super, super, super. Yep. Look at the chip damage. Gonna bring a hailstorm again. And Magneto can get couldn't get out. Now Storm has to has to block. Nice jumping out. Close for the hailstorm there. Random hail. Another random hail. Romnito runs out of it though. A huge. And now Wenzel can be a little bit more aggressive. G gets that Cyclops out. I mean, notice there was no Cyclops assist, no anything when there was still that ball on the table. Romnito had to burn all that out in hopes of sniping an assist. Didn't end up working out. And mm -hmm. from a really strong start, and then that Tron assist gets sniped. It's the linchpin of the team. And it feels like once that's gone, it just sort of collapses. Yeah, that's. I think it's the hard part, really. Like trying to. So Storm is obviously known as to be like the best character, right? Uh, but her comeback factor is pretty ass. So trying. So if it was Romnito's side, trying to get like all these little hits, it's it's like an uphill battle. Storm could do it, but it's all honest, honest work, I would say. Yeah. It, I, I definitely feels to me like she is in a much better position when she can let the fact that she can be so controlling and build all kinds of bar really pay off for her and then have the cash out come later from a yeah. different character perhaps. Yeah, doing Storm combo and, and then DACing the Sentinel. Right. Because you and remember, you remember the DAC glitch? Yeah. So this game has DAC glitch. I did so not really know that. Line. Yeah, so that's why when Storm does hyper sent like uh no lightning storm and then you DC is his hyper sentinel force and he launches, it's it's non-scale damage. Oh yeah. God, I did not know that. I just figured it I just figured they were able to do that. Oh my god, the amount of control that that sentinel was having, but Romito has the loops. Sentinel off the board. We yeah, get the we're, position. We're, we're probably gonna see the commando pick uh, from Wenzo ne next game. Okay, look, he might do he might do Psylocke super. So you gotta listen to it, all right? Okay, let me. Oh, he did the wrong one. Ah, I'm upset. <laughs> yeah, when I, I went to listen the last time we saw it, I went to listen. It was actually kind of hard for me to hear, unfortunately. Wenzel's got some bar to burn. Um, this still feels. Like, I mean, the two blocked hailstorms is going to be enough to uh, kill Cyclops even on chip approximately, yeah, right? But but Cyclops has the homing super, so he can stop Storm from doing it. But now Storm could do it because mm. Cyclops has no more super. Right, and it ends up the Psylocke assist is what closes it out. Two games to one. Or no, I'm yeah. sorry, that's, that, that one is to one. one to one. The, it, yeah. it had already been updated. Yeah, but we'll probably see a counter pick. We're going to see Commando probably, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll see Commando. I mean, from from what you were describing about like what motivates the choices, I, I definitely expected to. Yep. Cap! We need the corridor! <laughs> Let me see that cap. <laughs> Now let's see what is going to happen here. Chest to chest nice. round start with the corridor assists. Yep, knocks both of them away. Oh, 
But my needle's in there. That was good. Look at the damage. Yeah, look, 50, 70 percent gone, just from a few pals. Another pal. And Storm is still getting juggled, so he can't. So Romneo can't DAC out. Has to force the alpha oh, counter. So look at the oh, damage. God. She eats it, Jesus. Yeah. She she's dead for that. She one corridor away, she's gonna die. Psylocke continuing to bleed because now that's what Romito is sort of forced to use in this spot. Yeah, but he gets both characters right here. Shockwave, this is opportunity. One guess. Corridor oh, loses the corridor win. assist. Yeah. There it is. And we're, but we're gonna bring Storm in. Romito tags in the Psylocke. He's dead. Oh! Ooh. Wake up snap! Oh, that's that's kind of huge. This is the unblockable right there. And Captain Corridor. Grades with the frying pan. Yeah. Damn. So you, so you, you could see that like, even though Magneto and Sentinel have like similar life at that last exchange, Sentinel's frying pan just does way more damage. And like if, if Magneto lands it, a, a YOLO heavy punch. Right, because Sentinel has the most health in this game. So that's also a factor. He hits hard in neutral. Um, and we do see the swap back to Tron. I think this is going to be the ebb and flow of this set then. Yeah, it's going to be a gamble. But I think we had already seen that Wenzel had done a decent job of playing around assists. Yep. It's just going to be a question of, you know, while having the losing matchup and the way the assists interact here, you can still outplay it if no, you're you can... able to play around it effectively. You can definitely win this matchup as, as Santhrax because if Sandal stays in the air on the higher ground, he can stomp out Tron. But Commando is bleeding in the back through all of this. It has not been uh, the case. Romneo finds the... Okay. With the snap! No, it's not gonna work. Nice DAC out from Romneo's side. Commando working out for him that time, but clipped on the way down. Okay. Yep. Gets the exchange. A little bit Gets Sendo off safely. It, it feels like Wenzel's trying to find the opportunity to snipe Tron, and it just hasn't quite happened. It's because it's because Wenzel just wants to go forward. He doesn't. He has no no chill. <laughs> no chill. Uh oh. Okay. okay. Uh, gets the loops. The infinite. Uh, uh. All right. Tron gonna come in. Lose a little bit of health. Oh my God. Gets the cross up. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Does he get the time? No. Oh, he gets it. Raw tags. That's gonna oh. hurt. Look at the damage. Explosion. That was such a smart jump to uh, dodge it too. And, and Tron cannot afford to eat anything uh, coming out as an assist. So Wenzel able to call a little bit freely. Launcher connects, kills Tron in the back. And now Magneto is going to die to chip off of this hailstorm. Yeah. Like that. So it's, it's, it's Magneto is such a fragile character sometimes. He can like destroy your life, but he can also just die just as easily. Seeing that it's coming back into favor, one of my favorite things to watch when you watch high-level tournaments is when you know people have a pocket characters to be able to swap things around, and yep. you start to see that the mind games of the set like well and truly begin in character select. Ooh, look at that. I guess the infinite right away. One, two, three, four. Walk him down. But my new, but Seno's gonna flip out if he keeps going. That's why he went for the oh, reset. reset. Yeah. Oh no, combo drop. So it's not a combo drop. So there's an infinite protection prevention in this game. After 50 hits, like somewhere similar to that number, you just flip out to the sky. So that's why you saw Seno kind of like super jump, but it's actually the game flipping him out for him. I see. I, it looked like it had happened in a, in a weirder spot, so I, I wasn't sure. Wow, Cyclops is bleeding in the back. Sentinel finally off the board for uh, Kodiak now. Cable on cable. Yeah, cable on cable. Ooh, gets hit by the rounds. Look at the damage. That's like 65%. 
See what animated Nick has to, ha, can do. He needs to let Cyclops. Oh, nice! He's gonna get one more Hyper Viper here. He won't be able to get Is he another switch one. Switching the Magneto, you think? No. Usually, you want to keep the cable cable war, especially if you're one shot away from winning. I see. Does Magneto like not fight against him well, or is it just the? No, he does. You just feel it, comfortable in the mirror. It's more of just like you're gonna have to play Cam Mouse, and from a Hyper Viper Beam, DHCing into like a Magneto, it's you don't get a combo. Ah, all right. Oh yeah. Oh. Damn, I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger there. You gotta kill Commando there, unless he dropped it. Dropped it. I'm trying to think oh, yeah, what's like the equivalent of like cable mirror matches. Because cable mirror matches, everything is almost unsafe. Really? Because the hyper viper beam, it's like a two frame super, the air one. I see. So, so anything it's, blocked it's just a constant with. constant threat at any point. Yeah, anything blocked with, like, can be just like Tiger Knee hyper viper beam. And it, and it will be a punish every single time. Very little life left here for animated Nick's cable, but oh, Magneto. No, he's gonna run away. The Kodiak's... Oh, there's no time. Yeah, Kodiak's just gonna run away. That's okay. But two seconds left on the clock. Yeah. I, can't I, get, I think can't you literally get cannot deal enough damage. Yeah, exactly. All right. First game is gonna go to Kodiak. That might have been our first time over. I think it was that we've seen that at least that we've seen on stream. Maybe one of the the sets on Romnito's stream tonight. Oh yeah, uh, happened to catch one, but no, we certainly didn't. Yeah, and the way that they've been interacting with each other's assists has been, you know, such a huge part of it. We're just seeing characters explode. I think this is. I was I was gonna say on top of that, for all the storms that we've been seeing, it's been a lot of Wazzler, and as you've highlighted, much more aggressive. Oh yeah, I mean, we see Nick have a storm, but I think he loves playing Cable more. Like that's like his character. Oh, misses the fly combo there from Nick's side. Just getting a little bit more bl uh, blood out of Captain Commando assist there in the back. Yeah. Oh my god. Kodiak really had an opportunity. Punishing him for it. Yeah, Kodiak had a good opportunity. But he drops it. Uses the shockwave again to, to pretty much clears the screen. Oh nice no second. Yeah, no follow-up here. Raw tags okay. with the guard cancels. Oh, but this is it though. No counter call? I'm surprised anime and Nick. Oh, uh oh. Oh. Drops the combo. That was a lot of right. drops right there. Landing in the cable mirror, but animated Nick it still ought to be in a spot of being a little bit more afraid of, of trying to call that commando assist. But we're not gonna come yeah. up a whole lot, Cyclops. Yeah, the thing with Kodiak is because he has four he pretty much has four bars. So he could kill any assist right now. There we go. Counter. See, everything is unsafe. Right, that is a surprising, surprising DHC there. Yeah, brings in Magneto. This cable's bleeding. Corridor, Gene Splice. So I can call Gene Splice there. Seems like he's, he's having a difficult time trying to find the right angle to approach uh, animated Nick Sentinel. Finally gets a pickup. Yeah, gets the throw. the throw in the corner. Oh, missed the combo! Oh, no! But misses the punish! We gotta chip him out. Nice fly! No, we're not! We're gonna misspace it! Okay, we had to spend the extra bar for the up optic blast, but wow, just barely misspaced that air beam. Yeah. And Nick with the raw tag as well, too. Crazy! With another raw tag! No punish, oh, though! Oh my god! What is happening? Goes for the one, two, three, four. Goes for another grab reset. And now it's just commando left. Commando's gonna try to fight here. Oh, slide Captain Sword. Meaty. Yep, raw tag goes through the Captain Sword there. Behold, chip damage. Mm. 
it, they were playing like uh, it was like spaghetti, you know? Yeah. Definitely a uh, little all over the place. But I mean, Kodiak up 2-0 now. Are there any changes that you feel like Animated Nick needs to be making to to try to swing this one back around? It seems like he's being a little bit contemplative uh, before we load into this next one. I think it's like he, he's he's losing the, the point war, which is kind of the main main issue. Like he he needs to play more lame, I think. It seems like it's what his team ought to be leaning into, especially against this, right? Like, Magneto needs to be the aggressor having the, the two DPs in the back. I guess with the cable mirror. Ooh, but he know, drops the combo right there. Try again. Okay. Cyclops assist. It, I feel like animated Nick's commando is just getting nullified. Yeah, because he keeps calling set first, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you're, you're afraid of Magneto. Anytime he dashes in front of you, he's going to counter call. Just like that, yeah, every single time. And I just feel like Kodiak is so aware of it. We are gonna get the kill on the Magneto this time, but Cable Cyclops, uh, the Cable is what was really putting in work for Kodiak. I, I think you had said that as well in the previous yep. game. And Captain Commando is still super low in the back. Yeah, that's why I, That's why you see Nick calling Cable Assist more. But it's not too bad. Like, C Cable Assist can be used a bit and Kodiak only has two bars, but now he has three. So now it's a little bit dangerous. You can kind of just jump and just wait, wait for the opportunity. Wait for the alpha counter to, to bring Cable in. Ooh, didn't quite get the pickup off of that. With the, with the DHC, that's bold. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Playing for chip. Oh, that's Good intriguing. punish. And that's going to kill. But, we'll, but we have the bad matchup. Father and Son. Son wins this matchup. I think Kodiak's it, okay with running away, though. That's what I was going to say. Since the switch happened, other than having that, you know, the smart call on the optic glass, it seems like it was much more about trying to build that extra bar. Problem is, now you get smoked out. Animated Nick cashes out hard to get the kill on Cyclops. Gets the guard break right here. Ooh, nice combo. Meaty grenade as well, too. Jumps over, protects Commando there. Look at that. Oh, they oh, both no. missed! That's crazy. That strike a pose. It's a shame, yeah, because what I was going to say is, you know, Kodiak was in a spot where difficult to make happen, sure, but one bad assist call from Nick, and Kodiak literally swings the entire match into his favor. That could have been that spot, but not quite in the right place to make that uh super connect for him yeah i think him bringing cyclops in w was a little bit too early because usually you just even though like it worked out that scenario it became cable versus cyclops and that's just not a matchup you want you want to be part of yeah, it, it, it did seem like the second that matchup was what was on the screen, the game plan was sort of fell away from him because he no longer had that opportunity to just freely live on the other end of the screen and yep. try to play lane and build some bar. He had to be a little bit more respectful of how Cable controls that upper opposite quadrant. And now we got to get we got to get the counter pick. Cody Kodiak has Cable now. Oh, nice. No, pull the trigger out. That, that could have been both characters. Gotta take out Commando here. Oh, misses the refly. He's getting oh, stomped. He is, but he's finding these slight situations to snipe out Commando just a bit. A little bit yep. more breathing room. Now Nick's gonna play a little bit slower now because he is his because his action his his turns is pretty much over, right? Oh, but he's back in. But now he's back out. Oh my god, he, uh, Kodiak is placing these grenades really well. I feel like every single time he places the grenade, it's in exactly the spot where Animated Nick is about to try to approach from. Yeah, yeah you can also you can also hold the grenade to make it go further and pop dip, pop differently, which is really cool. Oh, this is a bad. Oh, he jumped. If he stayed on the wow. ground and alpha counter, he could have just brought Cable in and let Cable take the hit. All right, managing to stall in the air to get away from 
the, uh, the supers coming out of animated Nick's cable. Yeah, nice combo right there. Again, but no super. A Kodiak is literally a few hits away. And he's comfortable with just running away. Build Oh, with okay, the commando Mando comes in. Yeah, this we is a do or die situation. Life. Oh, that's a punish! Wow. And Nick is gonna go down. All right, just commando versus this whole team. Infinite. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ooh. That was sick. I did not know Cyclops had an infinite. <laughs> yeah, Cy Cyclops infinite is, is not easy. It's a hard infinite to land. He said, I did it! <laughs> but when timeouts happen, I think it's pretty exciting. Uh, especially in a game like Marvel. Because it's so fast paced and you're like constantly moving. Like the APM, like the action minutes is insane. Alright, no to the Magneto plan. Storm sent Commando mirrors here. <laughs> Okay, backing right off was Baby Missile, the Captain Commando assist from Smooth Viper, making first contact. Yep. Ooh. Smooth Viper's Commando is bleeding in the back right now. He is. Look at this Commando, but, look, but Baby Missile Storm is bleeding as well too. They're flying, they're air footsies. I love the air footsies. So it's it's so unique and it's so crazy to watch the amount of respect you see for all these different tools. Yeah. Because you can you can also throw out like a rocket punch, different like three different angles, if you want to like snipe. But the Sentinels can dodge it if they're ready for it. Well, their movement in, in flight mode is is so fast. That's just going to swap out to try to get a little bit of chip damage also to get the storm and just to be able to try to navigate our way out of the corner baby missiles really had uh, a, a, a monopoly on the screen positioning in this game so far 40 seconds in yeah what's really strong about baby missile is that he won the sentinel versus sentinel war so that's like a lot of confidence right there Ooh, nice block good oh, jump man. cancel yeah he jump cancel into a block right there Oh, I thought that was going to be able to be a, a pickup. Oh, Commando got clipped, but doesn't... Uh, okay, we are going to be able to get the Storm. Yeah, at this point, Baby Missile can just... Do it again. Chip, right? Yep. Ooh, gets the, mm. gets the pickup on the assist, too, with the third hit of the lighting attack. Yeah, it's going to be hard. That's going to trade. But still Baby Missile's favor. Lighting attack. Can't really do anything after that. Yeah, I mean, the the amount of control that is afforded Baby Missile with having that assist in the back, even in the Storm Mirror, even if Smooth Viper did have the health to be able to uh, play that matchup out a little bit longer, I think not unlike a Sentinel uh, Mirror, just the added control you have by way of the Commando Assist in the air just puts that in Baby Missile's favor. Yeah, I mean, babe, what Baby Missile did such a good job is playing lame and laming out smooth viper is not an easy thing okay an exact inverse of the round start situation from the last round yeah you can you can you can do first attack use first attack to back dash out of out of uh weird scenarios or uncomfortable situations situations Cashing out a bit here. Slight life lead going the way of Baby Missile. And we yep. are back to that Sentinel on Sentinel, the point war. And yeah, winning out that point war again. Nice. Both for the runaway with Smooth Viper. Ha 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 ha. But he has to worry about Baby Missile's Sentinel. His Sentinel is looking really, really strong. And you saw how he unflew there. He had Unfly to, to block the Hailstorm. Right. I mean, Smooth Viper trying to run away, not even getting a whole lot of opportunities to try to build the bar for himself. 
making a little bit of offense happen, having uh, caught out the Venus Sentinel on the ground there, but now finally the breathing room to start to run the game plan how he wants to. Yep. Ooh, again with the Clipped. corridor. That was a fierce rocket punch. And the one thing about, that's unique about Senno is that every normal he does, and it, that it contacts you, hit like if you're blocking it, it does one point of chip damage. Oh, I knew it did chip. I didn't know it was only one point. Yeah, so like it's one point chip damage, but getting hit by like, sh like let's say short, unfly short, it's like two points of chip damage in that situation. Right, I mean, it all adds up over time. Yeah, it's just annoying. Waiting it out. The ha ha, smooth viper. Yeah, raw attacks oh. commando. Good choice. But bring storms in right away. Oh man. All right, lives to, lives to fight another day. Typhoon, that's gonna kill Storm. Sentinel's gonna come in. Twenty seconds left on the clock. This is. You might see the distance here. You really might. How does I mean? How does this matchup ordinarily go? I feel like Sentinel has the movement and the tools to try to catch out Storm. Well, the thing is, like with lighting attacks. But the thing is, right now, Storm doesn't have meter to, to make it make Sentinel pay here. But he can make it rain. And is it that enough? Oh my oh. God! Both characters are down. Commando versus Commando. There's so little. There's so they have like the same amount of health. Five seconds left on the clock. Very similar amounts of bar. Yeah. He's clipped out Smooth Viper with the life lead now. The life lead is gonna run away. He's gonna just take the hit. Yeah, take the grab. Bro. There's no reason. That's gonna be it, Smooth Viper. What a comeback! Oh my God. Oh man. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was uh, that was some honest Marvel right there. Yeah, he uh, he doesn't get a combo off his throw. No, he doesn't. He's he's not uh, even in the corner or anything like that. No, 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 no. no. Um, you know he he has a nickname. You know his nickname? Uh, no. His nickname is Captain Sucka. That was. In my head, I was like, I feel like I've heard that one, but I wasn't completely sure. It, yeah, I mean, it sounds like he has literally nothing but an assist. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> that's really it. Like, if you win with Commando, you should be very proud of yourself. Like, like if it's just com Commando has to do all the work, you should be proud of yourself. Nice pick up, Smooth Viper drawing a little bit of momentum out of this uh, Sentinel on Sentinel point war that's going on. Ooh, Rocket Punch. Oh. Okay, goes to a jumping round. You know, and you know what's crazy about this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we know Smooth Viper. We don't know who Baby Missile is. Like, we know that's his online, like, everything. Oh, sure. But we don't know which. Which old school player this is? Which is kind oh, of funny. Do you have suspicions? Like that's that's so interesting. I did, but my friend told me it's not. <laughs> I thought it was a uh, baby Wolverine. Like his name is Arthur, uh, who plays Santhrax, plays pretty lame and everything. But they say it's not him. And the oh, reason I why I, I don't think it's him. in the chat asking as well. Yeah, the reason why I don't think it's him either, is he because Baby Wolverine is from New York. So my connection when I fight against Baby Missile is really good. Or I'm like, it can't be him. It has to be somebody from the I West see. Coast. Oh man, wanted for the Hailstorm, we're not gonna get it. Pressure in the corner. Baby Missile finds the hit there, and we are I, I thought we were gonna maybe try to DHC, but no, it looks like we just want a little bit more uh, breathing room. Yeah, we, de we definitely want more drain. Oh, the Captain Storm hits! But, the, but that ends up as the wrong triple DAC. Our baby Missile still has Commando, super favored here. Yeah, that Never mind. is gonna be enough to kill Storm Commando. You have to respect all this shit. I mean, one bad call, you just die, or she just dies getting clipped there, Smooth Viper. I mean, that character lead, how was... Yeah, your Captain Commando isn't going to make this comeback. 
Nope. But misses the Hyper Sentinel Force. That's yeah, the second but... time now. Yeah, but Sentinel could play lame. Doesn't really matter. Ooh, Viper takes game number three. 2 1. I like how the game hypes you up. Can't believe it. You're amazing. <laughs> like, why does the game hype you up like that? They had to inspire you to put more quarters back. I know, right? That's true. Imagine being the imagine being the person that lost and you come off the cab, and then the cab one ups the person who just beat you. I'd be saltier. That's your cheerleader, <laughs> right? But they could have been cheering for you. That's true. You were betrayed by the cabinet. I mean, cabinet only wants winners. They don't want losers. Very true. It's a dog eat dog world out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to the flying. All the flying. Dashing back. Ooh. Getting a nice. little bit of damage on that commando. Yep. Captain Kudo! I, I feel like, like you highlighted in game one how Baby Missile had won out that set in one year. Yeah. I, I feel like one of the big adjustments that's been happening to swing the set the other way is Smooth Viper is navigating it just a hair better now. Ooh, nice. And just you said that commentator's curse. Mm. Sano goes I down the like, Smooth Viper side. I have been unruly about cursing people tonight. It is insane. What? Uh, crazy damage on the Captain Commando in the back. Smooth Viper is in a tough position. Yep, and he gets hit by Corridor Hail. That's a big chunk of life. Another Corridor. Two lightning attacks, three lightning attacks. Crouching jab, mm. entire. That's nonsense. Just right, like that. Game two, two. Five. Yeah, sorry, uh, sorry, Smooth Viper. That one was my bad. I had, I had the audacity to point out what was happening. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. I, I think it sort of speaks to, I, I think Baby Missile is switching to the storm a little bit earlier once they're on the back foot in the, in the Sentinel Mirror, but then it feels like once that happens, something about the the way the pace on the screen changes, uh, the way the dynamic changes is bringing the set back into Baby mm -hmm. Missile's favor. Yeah, I think Smooth Viper is willing to just play lame. But the thing is, now he switches the cable. He, he wants to play the counter pick because counter picking here is really strong versus uh, Sentinel. So Smooth Viper is all about these counter picks right now. Oh my God! Counter call. Oh, nice! Right away, crotch every push. That was ballsy right there. So ballsy. Yeah. I mean, if he's wrong, he's just donating Sentinel's life. I, I would not have had uh, the presence of mind to even think to try to save them there, but it keeps Captain Commando alive in the back. Yeah, Commando would have lost so much health there. Okay, now we got Storm. This is the matchup that Avisa would rather fight. And Smooth Viper can't really bring out Sentinel, because, like, you know, he, he wants Sentinel to have full life when he brings him in. Right. So, I mean, at the very least, I guess you can keep playing this lane, wait on that red life as, as best you can, but it's not really working out that great. I think having to use that assist a little bit, okay? Making baby yeah. missile Sentinel bleed. Yeah, but it's, it's okay, though, because he only has one bar. So Sentinel's going to get all that red life, red life back. Oh, it gets the hit! Nice block. Flipper jumps out. Oh, but doesn't oh, get the follow up after the coming down roundhouse. Yeah, sometimes these T-Rex normals. It, 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 it almost looked like he faced the wrong way or something. It was just a bizarre situation. Getting a little bit more this damage, getting Sentinel safely in. Oh, good block. Yeah, and you see how they're they're uh -oh. so cautious of calling. They're just waiting. They don't want to call their assist. A storm's gonna run the hail storm. Oh my God! Big damage. Smooth Viper. If it jumps out, right. Mano's gonna come out. He's gonna be able to DAC out. If he... That's why you see Smooth Viper super jumping. 
Yeah, I, nice. I appreciate that, that Smooth Viper also waited and picked the right spot to call Commando to sort of punish Baby Missile for trying to get that safe swap. Sentinel is able to yep. get in, but Smooth Viper definitely the better equipped in this situation. Mm, yeah, one hit away from, from winning here. Ooh, with the up okay, rocket that punch up snipe. Yeah, that should be I it. There were, a, there were a couple of times that Smooth Vipers incorporated that up forward rocket punch, and I feel like that's one of the changes that made the, the sentinel mirror between the two of them start to skew in Smooth Viper's favor. Which is pretty cool in this, like, uh, I guess in 2024 for, for Mars Capcom 2. Yeah, I mean, I... I can only imagine what being someone who's around and like playing this game at that time and being able to see this resurgence must feel like. You were also exactly right about how the uh, the point and the uh, assist selections were going to go. Wenzel off to a really early lead as Magneto leading there for Kodiak has to swap in to the Cable and play out this matchup now. Yeah, but Cable has three bars. And with Wenzel, he likes to, you know, he's, he's an assist trigger happy type of player. So Kodiak can snipe. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Look at that. Look at the combo. One, two, one, two, one, two. And this combo is is, is not easy. Is like, do you only get a certain amount of reps of that loop, or is is that like a like a true infinite? Um, so there's no true infinites in this game, really. Eventually, the stun will cause the character to spin out in the air. Oh, sh sure, but like. It uh, a setup that gets you to that point, guaranteed. Well, you have to get get him standing, but you can't you can't kill him to death because there's scaling involved. So that's why you saw Wenzo finish the combo and goes into super. So it's more uh, like a touch of death combo and not like really an infinite. Mm, I see. Wants to bring that Magneto back in. Bringing the storm out to replay this matchup. Wenzel looking dominant to start this one out, calling super the dominant. captain corridor. Yeah, super dominant right there. I, had a heart attack there. I mean, Wenzel. Kodiak's Magneto barely got to do anything. Sometimes that happens. Uh, Magneto's one of those characters. He's kind of like Akuma in Street Fighter. It's either he just destroys you. Or he gets destroyed. Oh, Kodiak switching to Iron Man. Oh, okay. With the rogue. Uh, okay, with the rogue throws. Right. Like this, so th this, these are this is gimmicks. Okay, yeah. So you're gonna have to learn me some gimmicks, whatever I'm about to witness on the screen right now. All right. So he's gonna try to set up rogue assist, which is a throw. That's a command throw. But the problem with it is that it has no invincibility whatsoever. So he, needs to, he needs to sneak it in. Okay. He, yeah. So, but if he gets the kiss from Rogue, he gets a big combo follow up. But it's just, it, he, he's just banking the, he's just banking on this though, to be honest. Well, it, it, that feels so one dimensional. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't really work that well. But I mean, we'll see. If he lands the kiss of death. With Iron Man, though, he can kill from here. Oh, he tried. You saw how he mm. tried there? Yeah, oh, it absolutely. Is. Oh, it did connect. Oh, but he dropped oh, come the on. combo. <laughs> he wanted to see it so bad. <laughs> I did. You can't dangle this in front of me and then not pay it off when it gets queued up. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah you, you wanted to see it so bad. He messed it up. This was a waste of the game, it seems like. Yeah, you For can't. Real. Oh, my God. If, if you... Construct your team entirely around one situation. When that situation happens, you ought to be able to finish your plate and do what you set out to do. Like, that was... It, there's so little value in the assists on that team. If you're playing around that, all I can think... And this is just an in-general thing. I can't speak to Marvel 2 specifically. I am not an authority on this, but please, my God, if you have <laughs> one game plan actually execute it <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that was actually funny because i didn't think he was gonna land a kiss at all but he did i don't think he did either it, it, it happened in such a weird spot yeah it was really fast too all right 
Mag, Cable, Cyclops. Goes back to his own, goes back to the, the tried and true, the team that made him this far. Oh, nice. Right away. Hold that. Yeah. Early commit. Wants that, you know, early life lead. Okay. Combo drop out of Wenzel off of that one, loses out on the loops, and now we're back to neutral. Yeah, but Wenzel has two meters. So if he lands a hit on Cable, he'll bring, he'll do the Storm Sense DC. That's America's favorite DC. You know what? Never mind. I don't know why he did that, but but he just did. But it's gonna kill though. Oh man, yeah. Manages to stay over the Hyper Viper Beam. He misses the unblockable and he gets punished for it. He's a one, two, three, four. Mm. Okay, goes for the Gene Splice out. right there. Yeah, waiting out the Gene Splice assist now is Kodiak. Yep. Okay. Ugh. Okay. I have to grab. Oh, wow, they grabbed. Wow, that was through the corridor assist. That was and such specific spacing. It was insane. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice, nice. Actually fighting it out a little bit. Okay, we finally find the super to be able to get our Sentinel in. He drops it, though. That yeah, is a he... shame. A corridor still hits, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Look at the damage on that bad boy. That was so much damage. Clipped by another commando call, and Wenzel closes that one out. 3-0 and moves on against Baby Missile. So I think what Wenzel needs to do is kind of calm it down. But as I say that, he goes with the MSS pick. He won't, he, he doesn't want, he's not trying to play this neutral. He's trying to get this no. first attack. Really aggressive start there from Wenzel, but the Captain Commando Assist already paying out dividends here for Baby Missile, letting these disengagements happen. Magneto already down 50% life just off of, you know, chip and eating these uh, corridors. Yep. All he needs is one hit. Even if he loses 90%, oh, look, he, he gets the hit right here. Is he going to bring a snap? Oh, oh, we going for the fancy combo? Oh, but he drops it, though. Is it really worth it to style on stream? Maybe for him it is. Goes for light attack. Misses the punish right there. Swapping in the storm of their own there is Baby Missile. I mean, you can see Baby Missile doesn't have the bar to really try to be as aggressive here as I would have thought. I'm a little bit surprised that they stayed so aggro rather than letting the game slow down. Wenzel yeah. already had a fair bit of bar, so I, I feel like you're not that worried about Wenzel getting uh, additional bar. Who tries to go for the infinite with Storm, but he misses it. But he forces it. Nice. No punish, though. Oh, that's going to hit oh. both. Oh my god. Yeah, Storm gonna come in super low. Floats forward. Yep. I think Roundhouse takes out Storm. That's Wenzel's X Factor right there. Now it's just Lonely Sentinel. And Lonely Sentinel usually kind of can get mauled here unless he can kill. Oh, it gets one. Oh my god. Might get two. In the back, you have another bar. And he that does. Kills shit. Yeah. Oh, call him swinging. And look at look at now, Wenzel's in the lead. If he plays lame, he can win this. Don't take any risks. Really uh -oh. oh, big jump in. We don't have a pickup off of it. No, it's done in this game. It's not the best. I guess the throw. Oh my God. He drops the combo. No. Baby missile. Oh, oh he, had, he had the combo. He could have won there. so bad. I know, working so hard to command on losing, that does suck. That was a wild comeback to have fall out of your fingers. One game up, full Wenzel. Mm -hmm. One game up. Okay, but the MSS pick worked out, which is really great. Absolutely.
Yeah, I mean, the like you had highlighted, right? Magneto only needs to get in and start running his game once. I, I feel like it was a, a couple of execution errors out of Wenzel that were really let that swing as closely as it did. Otherwise, yeah. there were a couple of spots where he really should have been able to hang on to his momentum. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, go for the haha, -ha, moving forward. Hands are definitely sweaty right now. Oh, but the Hyper Sentinel oh, for his anti-air. This is the unblockable there. You know, having to block these rocket punches, trying to navigate through, half the DHC out. Yep. Okay. Uh, Damage on commandos, useful there. Okay, one, two, goes the super. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna snitch. And he lost half life of that for that, but then he got rid of a character. But he gets the hit, but misses the super jump there. Oh man, Commando gets a uh, baby missile, the advantage out of that uh, flip tech situation. And now in the driver's seat once again, but oh my God, catches both characters. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to kill here, but he might get the unblockable. Yeah, well, dashes back, but gets the infinite with Storm. He's gonna be able to do the dead body? No, I think he mistimed it. Yeah, five it meters on baby missile side. It felt like Wenzel was very specifically trying to wait and snipe the corridor with uh, the Sentinel, but that extra little bit of passiveness gave baby missile the chance to uh, turn that one around. One game of yeah. peace. One game of peace. Now, when you're, if you're Wenzel, what do you think it? Did we run back the Magnus? It was a close game. It was a close game. That first game should have been yours. It's, yeah, I guess you stick with it. I, I don't feel like, from where I'm sitting, I don't feel like there's enough going wrong to make one sit there and evaluate the characters yeah. on the screen. Right now, it feels very much like this is what's going on between the players and not the character matches. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he sticks with the MSS right here. Tries to go for the Rocket Punch. Rocket Punch only has one point of armor. Oh, my, he is in flight mode? Dangerous, dangerous Magnus. Oh, what a pickup out of Wenzel. Yeah, he should be able to kill here. I would go for the Hypergraph Tempest immediately. Just like that. Oh, he mashes no. out! That's crazy! It's so hard to mash out of that. All right, Sentinel gets to live another day. Baby Missile Storm in. Plenty of bar here for Wenzel. Uh, you you yeah. want to try to make a, a good opportunity for yourself. Yeah, for sure. Oh, nice block on the try jump roundhouse there. Trade? Yeah, trade with the Aim Disruptor. A Storm is bleeding, losing too much health. Are you willing to sacrifice Storm? That's 50% gone. Nice push block in the air. Gets hit by another pal. Ooh, that's oh, gonna man, kill. Snipes the lightning no! Attack. The lightning attack hits before the lightning storm was able to come out. Oh, okay. just like that. And Baby Missile right, seems I'm like he's gonna steal his game. Wenzel. I'm thinking now if you're Wenzel, now you consider uh, assault on the team. Right? The problem was Wenzel was so favored in that situation, but that he just made a wrong decision. One wrong decision cost him this. Yeah, and dead, that was guaranteed, even on chip. Baby missile, that was so dominant. Yeah, that, very that particular, dominant. As there. close as this has been, that looked like a fully different set. Yeah, I think Wenzel might might stick with Magneto. I don't know. We'll see. Ready up. I think if nothing else, if nothing else, right, like to to make the swap and to try to get a bit of a palate cleanser from how wild that match was. Yeah. But no, true. we're we're letting this one rock the whole way through. I'm telling you, I, I don't I don't think he wants to play the mirror match because usually if you're the defensive player, you're favored to win the mirror match. Oh my god! Ooh, ooh, yep. Right away with the snap, crazy. 
Uh, you're playing Sentinel Mirrors to start off what could be the last game of our Losers Finals. Baby Missile, oh my god, it all adding up slowly but surely. Oh my god, Indestructor. Yeah, brings in Storm. Doesn't want to play Sentinel with no anti air assist against Sentinel with Cap. But he just took two big hits, Frying Pan, Rock Punch. They didn't even combo. Oh, they're, they're scrambling. He's dead. They really... Not quite dead, waiting it out. I like, I like the amount of patience you're seeing, but like Baby Missile just. Wenzel is not being able to effectively operate around that commando assist. So yeah. It, it's really been the difference maker so far. Ooh, nice. Using the hail again to catch Magneto. Oh, happy oh, birthday. That's all it takes. They all it takes. Uh, launch, 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 launch. Uh-oh. Just like wow. that. We might be in a 2-2 situation. Go for the shockwave. No punish right here. Ooh, jump back right. at each other. Yeah, that was it, just as I was saying that there was difficulty in operating around the commando assist. Finds that one opportunity and is able to maximize it off that double snap. Yeah, that double snap was so clutch. It was so unfortunate, too, because Baby Missile had the advantage, and he missed his meaty. But that's the hard part. This game, the way it registers, if you jump and you do a low attack, usually you jump out the low attack. But if you do a mid option, you'll hit him trying to jump out. Hmm. So it was like a 50-50 situation there. Game five. Captain Corridor earning baby missile just a little bit more breathing room, but Wenzel has only one direction and it is forward. Yeah, he that's all that's the character. Yeah, look, he, I like how he was just baiting out commando too. He's still getting hit by the commando though. It, it, it feels like he's trying to bait it out, but he's misjudging the spacing ever so slightly and he's just still getting clipped by it. Yeah, he's also just doing too much, like flying and everything. You don't really need to do all that. Just gonna trade? Yeah, trade. Smart stuff on Baby Missile. Keeping the Sentinel in Wenzel, continuing to be the aggressor here, but no, oh my god, back foot in the corner, frying pan. Keeps Wenzel down, and the Hailstorm just barely not enough, but chip oh damage is no. gonna be a factor. Lightning Storm. Yeah, just do Lightning Storm. Wenzel is gonna need Magneto to, to carry here. Oh, the trades, everything is happening. Okay, trying to wave dash on the floor. Yep, here we go. Magneto's his only shot. Can he get another happy birthday? That's gonna punish Magneto. Mm. Yeah, he's he can't afford. He's gonna punish just again. a little bit too active. Like, exactly oh. like you were saying. That's not gonna kill, but it's really checkmate at this point. Yeah, hard drive's not gonna do anything. This ain't Marvel Three. Jeez. Oh, yeah, baby missile. Was... I mean, that was a good match. It was three two as well too. These matches yeah, could I mean, go I... by fast because Cable can just literally put a hurt on the whole team real fast if you're not careful. Yeah, I guess that's the benefit of having a uh, one v set when they played in winners and already identified that this team was what was gonna get the job done. But also you have another set to play with, so having these different characters to swap around that can all reasonably approach the matchup, you know, you have way more time to get the read on what you need right now. Baby Missile uh, definitely getting the better of Smooth Viper right now, though. Smooth Viper's trying to make his way out of the corner, and it's just not working. Yeah, and, ba and Baby Missile is doing such a good job, like you said, but he, he finally got out. But, but for Smooth Viper, his game plan is to build meter. He already built close to three meters. Oh. Bringing Storm? That's, uh, that's a win. Goes for the roundhouse. But how is Smooth Viper gonna, supposed to bring Cable in? That's the hard part. Because you can't raw tag. You can't DHC. It's all unsafe. Mm. 
Yeah, I mean, you need to land a hit, right? Like, that's that's the only sort of alternative. Oh, we find it in a spot where... He snuck uh, it in. Was, yeah, snuck it in when they were too high up, but gets both characters. Ooh, look at the damage on that. Still alive, though. Ooh, we get the shots. He's gonna do it again. Um, he, I thought Captain Commando got out. I was wrong. Uh, yeah, you, he's you, dead you in thought. the back. And he's gonna chip him out, too. Maybe Alpha countered the storm. That's why you see Smooth Viper didn't press a button Whoa. there. Whoa! Nice. Put a smart air dash down to make that happen. Sentinel with so little life in the back. Kill, kill Sentinel right there. Nice. Captain Sword. Oh. That's gonna connect. No, it doesn't. It didn't. That super sucks. That, that, yeah, that super does suck. But that's supposed to actually work, though. Maybe it was a little bit too high, but Commando putting some work right now. Yeah, I mean, chip damage is going to be a factor. Yeah, the ninjas in the back taking care of business. Yeah. You know what's funny? Uh, the funniest part? When I talk to, like, people that play Commando as an assist, mm -hmm. and they're like, yeah, I, I know Commando. I'm such a, I love Commando. He's so cool. And I'm like, oh, yeah? You, you ever played the, his game? They're like, nah, I never <laughs> played this game. <laughs> how, how, why do you think he's cool? You're not, you're not even a fan of him. You just know he's strong. Maybe there's just, I mean, you can you, do you think you can be a fan of just the design? You could, but they were acting like they were a fan of Captain Commando. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's harsh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they, they don't know about Genji. They don't know about the mummy. They don't know about baby. None of them. I don't know about any of this stuff. I've also it's, never it's, played uh, Captain Commando. It's a hard game. game. Yeah, it's a very yeah. hard game. Yeah, very hard. It's meant to take your quarters. Mm. Baby Missile once again getting the better of this first uh, Sentinel on Sentinel exchange as they're going. And yeah, there's more luck with that commando assist on his end. Oh, similar to the first game. But Swim Viper is probably going to have that cable. Oh, but he lands that fly combo. That's huge. Able to cap the Captain Corridor, the other Captain Corridor. Okay, and it uh, connects on hit. Oh, Captain Commando so low. Again, manages to connect. Smooth yeah. Viper. Captain Commando is bleeding for Smooth Viper right now. Yeah, but it's okay because it's it's hard for Baby Missile to punish his Commando now because of how much meter Cable has. That's one. Oh, he should have aimed down. Get low. Baby Missile clips low again. Oh, wow. Actually has the presence of mind to stop after the low short and block the commando assist. Yeah, if he committed the whole combo, though, it, it would have caught both characters. I think it was more of like he assumed that Smooth Viper should block low. Yeah, that's game. One to one. Yeah, it's the same... Last second cross under mix we've seen uh, Baby Missile go to a couple of times. Yeah. I just can't believe it. You're amazing. One game can't believe and, <laughs> and uh and still pretty e e explosive. It's like that that point war is is uh, making such a, a big impact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's 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 pretty interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see what Smooth Viper is going to be thinking about this. I'm surprised he's not going to play Magneto. I feel like his Magneto would would do really well here, especially when we saw when he when he. Yeah, right, I mean, he's thinking about that. I think. Yeah, there seems to be some consideration. All right, sticking with the cable. I don't see what's gonna happen. For the Captain yeah. Corridor. Yeah, already like really actively trying to bait it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. But this time it's, it's, it's cable on point. It's not Senno on Senno. Are mm. so we gonna have the hard matchup for Baby Missile? And it's already two bars going to three. So it's gonna make this match even harder. 
Yeah, I mean, especially at a certain point, you need to be worried about that commando assist because you can just get sniped out, like you've said a couple of times, and you, you can uh, arrive at Barbara Dreams so fast. Yeah. Trying nice. to hold on the ground there. This game is oh, get it's underneath the drones as well. Yeah, that was so clutch. Bending the hypervivor beam. Warning call. What? Oh, but he drops it. That drops the punish. Wow. Doesn't get as great. That was a, that was a free infinite. All right, flies over the drones. So I'm getting stomped in the corner a little bit. Trying to maneuver. That's gonna be a DHC out. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, no, he's not gonna DHC out. This commando is just doesn't really work as a DHC. He's gonna try to find a, a way to oh, alpha sure. counter and send no in, but it doesn't work out though. There's Alpha right, there's Counter. That for Alpha counter. Yep. He's able to block. Yeah. You, usually it's pretty safe to Alpha Counter against Hyper Sentinel Force at the end of it. Let's move Viper. Maybe he let go of Commando. No read. Yep. He let go. Yeah. All right. Two games to one. And the the cable point there making the difference. I mean, he's he had been losing out on. The Sentinel Mirror, so uh, it was a reasonable adjustment to make, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe Bay, Bay Missile will start Storm first now. Very possible to see. Yep. Collect your okay. assist type. Tournament life on the line. I, the, the tournament on the line, even you, you have to make this one happen now. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. You see the counter pick of Storm first. Losing out at round start, but Smooth Viper still able to disengage. And wow, Storm already down about fifty percent. A couple of errant hits. Yeah. Oh no, shot! I would, I would have definitely threw a warning shot. That was the first warning shot, but. Anytime I see assist, I just want to punish it. I love punishing assist in this game. It's so satisfying. Go for the crackdown. Guard break. And hey, this is so in Smooth Viper's favor right now. Just because he lost Storm. Right, I mean, this was the this was the, the, the character matchup that Smooth Viper specifically aiming to win by putting Cable Point. Overcoming that Storm is everything. Is that going to be... No, it doesn't. Uh, Sentinel was able to block. Yeah, he's big. He's, he's heavy. So he falls down faster oh. than most other characters. I always forget that there were, like, different fall speeds in the... Oh, like weight tennis. classes? Oh, yeah, older games? Yeah. yeah. Older older games got, like, weight classes. 3 to 1! Just too far. I can't believe it. Yep. And it's a four out of seven grand finals. I had momentarily forgotten, actually. Uh, that that was supposed to be the pick that was going to uh, stall the momentum that the cable selection was going to give Smooth Viper. Yeah? I, yep. How, how did that storm get so dismantled? Like, it, was it just too antsy to move forward and try to get in on cable and just ate the corridor assist too much? Yeah, that's the hard part. It's hard, it's hard from it's hard to stop Cable from just jumping. Uh, you can go for like guard breaks, like like while mid neutral. It, but it's just so much easier to do with Magneto. But with Storm, she her she's relying on landing the hit, the DHC and the Sentinel to get like the America's favorite DHC, where that's gonna be like the the touch of death combo, right? But Cable. He's like such a like a cockroach. It's hard to catch him. It's like very, this is like such a Tom and Jerry matchup. Hmm. This cable's never gonna be on the floor. Right. I mean, it, it seems like he's on the floor exactly long enough to make something happen, and then just goes right back up to start building yeah. bar again. And look how Already much damage he's so lost. Much, right. That was off one interaction, and uh, Smooth Viper elects it's a cash out of it. Yeah, okay, he's gonna kill. He's gonna shoot right here. Kill Storm. Get some damage commando, build some bar, ship damage with the Viper Beam, and baby missile. So close away from just losing in the situation. Look at that, Get, gets a high birthday, wow. everything's just going in Smooth Viper's favor right now. Look yeah. at the damage, Jesus Christ. 
This is so, so strong out of the Smooth Viper. I don't know how Baby Missile is going to be able to make this one. Yeah, he can. It's too game. hard. I don't think I don't think it's possible for you to stall the game enough for Captain Kamehameha to get a sufficient amount of health left. Yeah, that's gonna GGs. be that. GG's. <laughs> and Smooth Viper is your Casa Bunch champion for Mars Capcom 2. Okay, hey, that was pretty pretty. That was good, but then Cable just was... got his shots off. Yeah, no, that was that was just really strong and obviously approaching that what you would called out as which should have been a counter pick really navigating that super well once once sentinel on sentinel was off the board yeah smooth viper just had the better of every single other character matchup that was present on that screen so i mean that was it was fun to watch obviously we, we we're probably gonna see these two players fight again in the future right especially with like more online tournaments for marvel 2. i'm curious to see what baby missiles like answer is because you could tell that he's really good at the mirror match playing like the Sentinel over Sentinel or playing in Storm playing Magneto because he's playing lame, defensive. Right. But lame defensive mm -hmm. players, they have problem with characters like Cable because they're not used to rushing down. So they're kind of like taking right. out their elements. It's like fighting Dawson or Guile. You're fighting like yeah. the Marvel version of Guile, right? You're, you're so uncomfortable. You gotta be the chaser.